Anthony. Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> you see what they could do on the internet? Yes, yes. I have. Hello, I'm Jimmy Norton. Hello. I'm a white guy. And I used to be a waiter. Yay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Just rooting for the home team. Go ahead. You know the main thing in your life? Sense of humor. Lose that, you're done. You might as well blow your brains out. But enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. Where do we begin today? Hi. We got a porn star mad at us. Yeah, oh, that really uh, broke my effing heart. We got a, uh, a satellite radio decision that has to be made today. We got a moving crew here. Yeah, that's At the radio station we're broadcasting from. It's encouraging when they're just stripping the walls of pictures. And, yeah. And even our pictures... Off the uh, off the screws that were holding it up, and it's just leaning against the wall on the floor, waiting for the moving guys. Yeah, <laughs> they're telling us that they're just moving offices, and lucky us, the corporate guys are moving into this office. Yeah, or this office space. What would he do? That's really exciting for us. Good to have them there here. And I guess everybody's moving downtown except for us because we have this weird radio deal where where we have to split our time between yeah. two companies and two different radio stations. So we can't move. Isn't uh, CBS? They're moving too, right? And they just built that little studio temporarily? Okay. Who knows? But yeah, you make a good point. If we're staying, why are you taking our picture? Yeah, why, why is our picture leaving? Do we at least have a one or two pictures up? Could you leave like maybe a K Rock thing and a well, you can't, ONA thing? You can't have anything fun, you know, on the walls if you're, if you're corporate. They don't know fun. They don't know fun for their office space. Yeah. Every time we had to go over for a meeting, which meant we were getting yelled at, it was never a, hey, why don't you come over and just hang and yeah, let's get to know each other type of meetings. Never. They're just going to put pictures up of like the final scene of Braveheart where they're disemboweling him. <laughs> That's what executives like having. <laughs> they like to have just like pie charts on the wall. Yeah. This was a good pie chart from when we were very productive and very uh, successful as a company. This is supposed to give us incentive to bring us back to those right. prosperous times right. of the blah, 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 blah. They don't blah. even have those inspirational posters. You know, it's a mountaintop and then, you know. Yeah, uh, sky's the limit, and blah blah blah, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Uh, so what does that mean? They're just moving everything today. It's moving day. Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, today's uh, clean out day, and then Wednesday everything gets hauled out of here. What the hell's going on? People and everything. So what happens to us? Uh, we're cool, apparently. We haven't even met the new boss, who of course is the same as uh, the old boss. I should write that down. Who said it best a long, long time ago? Why hasn't he come by and just said hi? I well, know he well, fired us once tree, already. Tree Townsend? <laughs> <laughs> he's the guy that fired us in Boston. He's the new yeah. guy down here. But he's been the new guy long enough to not be the new guy anymore, but we haven't uh -huh. seen his face. Last time I saw his face, I was sharing a cart with him. I was golfing with the guy. <laughs> so I know I'm good with him. We're good with him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, that was ancient history. <laughs> He was hoping that I would, like, slice one into the wood so he could be done with me. It doesn't even matter <laughs> how much you know these people, because uh, just remember this scene. He's gone, and there was nothing we could do about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Biggest day of your life, and it's an empty room with the yeah. chairs stacked. He's, uh, he's gone. <laughs> what do you mean he's gone? Uh. He's gone, and there was nothing we could do about it. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> well, we'll have to just... Uh, do our show and see what happens. Yeah, that's all we do. That's they all we've ever done. Are they taking anything out of this studio during the show? <laughs> I don't know. They better yet. not take our TV, those mother effers. No. No, TVs, are, all the equipment in here is staying. Apparently, nobody wants this stuff. Well, obviously, look at it. I, I, don't, I can't even identify half this stuff. They're, they're getting all new stuff downtown. That's all brand new equipment. We have a top, brand new stuff. We have a top-loading... TV VCR combo behind Anthony, oh. and they can't have it. Yeah, that, that's ours. <laughs> ours. That's right. They're not getting that in 1985. <laughs> well, what was the last year they made a top-loading VCR TV it's terrible. combo? I want to tape one day at a time with that. <laughs> what was the last time they had that? I don't know. That is really ancient. And when those were rolling around in everyone's apartments and houses, everyone's like, 
technology is never going to get better than this. This is just amazing. This is a VCR <laughs> that's attached to the television right. set. So if one breaks, the other one's screwed right. too. It's wonderful. <laughs> but how can we ever possibly Im improve on this fine technology? <laughs> on the top loader. <laughs> Well, doesn't a lot of dust get in there and stuff? <laughs> Shut up. What do you want, a front loader? <laughs> ah, what are you going to do? How was your weekend, Anthony? Oh, action-packed. Yeah? Well, I did have a little, little Warren Dean's christening. Aww. It's a Dawn and Patrick's little baby. Yep. And I was, of course, the godfather. Aww. Yeah. So I'd, like, stand there, you know. And they just run you through it willy nilly. Yeah, it's it's like a gig. Yeah, it's like a gig. You know, the priest is like, "All right, now what you can do? You're gonna come up here and you're gonna stand behind the parents, and uh, I'll say some stuff, blah 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 blah, and then you say uh, you agree with that. Of course, you'll say yes, I do, um, and I will, uh, as per the questioning. And, and I feel like I'm, I, I should have like a wireless mic on and be sent out after some stripper onto the stage at the Hard Rock. That's like how we go. That's our prep for like gigs. It's good to last know. Minute. It's good to know Jesus wings it just like the rest of us, though. Yeah. Ah, we're just gonna go with this thing. We'll wing it. He's paying attention up there. He'll make sure it's it's done properly. Yes. And then he'll do some voodoo, you know, hocus pocus stuff and hit the child with something that makes him Jesus magic. one of us. Jesus magic. That's what he'll do. But they, you know, they have all the uh, symbolism and everything uh, that they do. So, you know, first they grease the kid's head up with a little oil on the thumb. Mm -hmm. and they got to give you a little, the little cross on his little head. Right. And then, uh, then there's the old uh, anointing with the um, oil, and they rub their little chest with the oil. Mm -hmm. Giving him acne for the next. Yeah, three yeah. Days. It'll be broken out on his chest. I'm sure Dawn is thrilled about that. And then they give the old head dunk. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you got to put some water over their head. Yeah, but they changed that. Aren't you supposed to gunk? Like, like what? Well, in the river, they, they, you know, tipped you all the way back and kind of held your nose and made sure oh. you got a nice... Well, whoa, whoa, whoa. A nice God, dunking. I wish I could remember her stupid name and how she tried to baptize her five children. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or Susan Smith. Right. <laughs> yeah, she's good at baptizing. But now they just kind of pour the water on the head. Yeah, they kind of lean the kid back and pour a little water on his head. And uh, and then at one point the priest comes up and he like goes to the parents and grabs the sides of their head and like says something under his breath. It's like, oh, I'm kind of doing some kind of faith healing thing. I don't know what it was. And then my job is pretty simple. I just got to stand there. Yeah. And then I got to you know denounce Satan. Yeah. And all of his uh, shenanigans. <laughs> Why do you get apparently? <laughs> Why do you have to get involved with that? Well, because at the same time Clemenza was shooting someone yeah. with a shotgun. <laughs> there you go. Uh, and Mo Green's eye was being taken out <laughs> during a massage. <laughs> and Bartini was grabbing his chest in the worst staged fall ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, the, the oh, lavish right, Bartini half yeah, circle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, uh, then, then I had to um, hold the uh, candle, which represents the light of Jesus. Aww. The light of Jesus. They yes. gave you the responsibility of holding the light of Jesus. Yes. Were they nuts? Well, the godmother would would light it, right? And then uh, I get I get, it gets handed over to me, and then I gotta like stand behind the parents and and hold it. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, and, and as the the uh, priest said beforehand, and could you please not tip the candle over so there's any wa no wax ends up on the uh, carpet? Yeah, well. So it kind of takes away from the whole mystical, magical part of it. Right. You'd think if it was this miraculous candle, the wax wouldn't melt and hit sure. the carpet. And if it did, Jesus would just clean it up Jesus when, it, when the church goes dark. Yeah. And no one's around to see his uh, magic. His magic. <laughs> right. Lights out. Everyone leaves. Jesus goes, look, the wax is gone. Yeah, and then they just, the next day, go, wow, it was a miracle. The wax is off the uh, carpet. Yes. You should have just blown out the light of Jesus and said, There's no God. There is no God. My name's Fred. Jesus was a man like you. <laughs> no, I had to, I did have to uh, blow out the candle, though, at the right time. What if you blew it out at the wrong time? Well, the priest told me. Well, yeah, I'm just following orders. Too much responsibility. I don't, I don't like that you had, had the light of Jesus this uh, weekend. I was holding that light of Jesus. You, you know, with that shaky hand of yours, you could have caused earthquakes and shaky stuff. Shaky hand? I'm steady as a rock. <laughs> you should have seen me. The candle was the... Were you a little nervous having the light of Jesus in your hands? Nah, it was a candle. 
some candle that they buy at some goddamn Sam's Club for for churches. You know it. You know it. There's church stores. Yeah. This candle doesn't come from some holy place. It's not some guy that climbs some mountain, comes down with candles and white hair, and uh, distributes it uh, distributes it to priests. It's it's it's, it's, it's like anything else. Yeah. We buy wholesale. That's the sad part, huh? Yeah, all that stuff. The big Easter candle things that are out there, the little the candles with the light of Jesus, the the oil that they anoint with. Well, the little restaurant candles. They're either restaurant candles or yeah. they're in the churches, so you can make your prayers and stuff. That's it. Same wax. Same wax, same little thing. That's it. Mm. All that stuff is just like, uh, oof. look at everything. Even the stained glass windows, I'm looking at them going... That's really something. The light comes through, and there's Jesus, and he's, you know, being Jesus, doing Jesus-y things. And, and then you realize some contractor just did that and got <laughs> paid for it in money. <laughs> he didn't do it for, like, you know, to have his sins washed away. Right. You know, he charged for it. and you know. How does the magic go into the priest? Uh, he apparently gets a calling. Mm -hmm. um, that he does not want to have any relations with women, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, then becomes a priest. And, but how does he know that he's got the magic now? I don't know. You're supposed to have, like, this what calling. If, what if you go through everything and realize you never got hit with the magic, but you don't want to tell people you didn't get hit with the magic, but now you're out there uh, preaching the word of God, and now it's all phony because you never got hit with the magic. Then you go back home to your brother Tony. <laughs> and he takes you to the disco, and you tell him that you're no longer going to be a priest. And then the mother freaks out. Father Frank will come back to the church. Father Frank will come back. Mm -hmm. Well, look at you. Now you got three pieces of crap <laughs> children. That's right. The whole the whole thing is mysterious. It is very you mysterious. Gotta, you got to have a lot of faith. You certainly do. Because, uh, boy, I, I almost let slip the F-bomb three times in church. Why? Because I'm just conversing. Like, every, after everything's done, you're in the, the aisle there, uh -huh. and then you're talking with relatives, and I'm just talking the way I usually talk. And, like, I'm in the house of Jesus and God and everything, and I'm just, you know, oh, yeah, I, I took the F in this. And it was a bunch of... F in this. and There was a bunch of union guys that built the church. Yeah. So what? As soon as you leave the church doors, then it's okay to curse and be a normal person. Well, I don't, I don't get all holied up. I, I don't think. understand all this stuff. It's got to get all holied up. I try. I try to have an open mind. I don't understand the magic thing. It's magic in there happening, though, apparently. When you're using Sam Club's uh, candles yeah, and, just, and an oil, you know, that just came from a supermarket somewhere. I just figure the oil is in a big 55-gallon drum with a pump dispenser <laughs> on top, and they just like, <laughs> here's anointing oil. We buy it in 55-gallon drums. It saves us a fortune. Yeah. The Vatican loves it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's good. So now yeah. he's uh, he's uh, now he a child been, of God, right? He has been cleansed of uh, what do they call original sin, OP, because we all. I love that song. We're all just. In excess? Yes. We're all just um, stained with the original sin just being born. But that's not fair. We didn't do anything. I know. What the hell did we do? <laughs> that's why little kids, when they uh, die before uh, baptism, yeah. uh, just float around for. They're in uh, purgatory. Mm hmm. Or in purgatory, so they gotta have this original sin cleansed of them. That's, that's just not fair. It's yeah. not fair for a little tater tot like that. And then they don't do it. It's not a very personal thing because there are other families there. No, oh, I know. Like they have a whole crew. <laughs> they know. In. They got lazy. It's I an think assembly line. I think when we grew up, it was like one kid, one ceremony. But now it's like you know, like everything else. Like mass produced the baptisms. Like, who was sitting there in the church while Michael Corleone was denouncing Satan, wow. waiting for their turn? Excuse me, but, what about my baby? But if you got money, then you could have the church to yourself. Yeah. The almighty dollar. It was great. We laughed. I I gave Patrick a ticket to Vegas, sent him out to uh, <laughs> tell him I don't oh. want to see him. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you were thinking? You're Godfather out of the family stuff. business, Patrick. Yeah. <laughs> and why do they lock the doors at night at these churches? To keep the riffraff out. There's a lot of expensive stuff in there. Yeah, but you know. That's, you see that? Gold uh, goblets. That's not too godly, though. Well, even they agree that there's some evil people in the world. Which just, just blows up the whole spot of the church. Like, you got these amazing warm churches. Whether you like homeless or hate them or do you tolerate them, whatever, but... 
when they lock the doors at night and the homeless people are piled up on the stairs outside the church, I think to myself, well, that's not uh, that's not too nice. No. I mean, if you're going to go into the religious uh, business, you know, you got to deal with the smelly homeless guys at night. What can I tell you? Because that's how it was back when Jesus walked the earth. They don't want the uh, pews to be literal. Uh, <laughs> where you well, go in and uh, yeah. <laughs> but do you understand the, understand how ridiculous that logic is, though? Uh, yeah, because wasn't Jesus all about helping the the down and out? Oh my the, God, what, he the would, downtrodden. He would help lepers. I hate that word, downtrodden. Lepers, all that stuff. Yeah. They they kept their church doors open back back in the day. Back in the day, what do you think they were going to lock them with? What? Well, they they're locking them now. When all these people need help out there. Maybe back then they just didn't have locks. Oh, really? <laughs> Would they have those big boards that kind of slide on those metal brackets? Yeah. I don't know how they locked the door back then. <laughs> Aren't we all equal in God's eyes and the homeless bums? You know, they need a place to, to rest their heads at night. Not, and you, and not they're looking, in a nice church. And they're looking for you. Not in a nice, clean church. As in the warm, nice churches. They don't want duty on the, the floor. <laughs> they all get their own, like, like row. It's beautiful. And nope. They could set up camp for the night. Uh-uh. That's why the whole thing is ridiculous. They're, yeah. They're deciding when they want to be charitable to people, these churches. You 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 don't get that choice. No. Well, churches are magical for special people. Yeah. You know, people that conform to society a little better than than some others do. All right, we got to take a break. Uh, the gorilla story is amazing. Governor Patterson. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Just because he's blind, he wants... Another story between the two. Governor Patterson is blind, and he wants us all to suffer because of that. We'll explain after the break. Oh, my God. Does he want to poke out everybody's eyes? I read about <laughs> yes. that. He might as well. It's an eye he tax. might as well, Jimmy. He might as well. <laughs> an eye tax. You, you have to give your eye, one of your eyes at least for an eye tax. <laughs> if you can distinguish between a building uh. and a cloud formation, <laughs> he wants to charge you extra. Uh, you he's blind goose. <laughs> he's, uh, he's trying to mess up all our fun because he's blind and can't enjoy it. We'll explain next. Opie and Anthony just getting started. Another fine week of radio has begun. What's up, peeps? 877-212-ONA, the Opie and Anthony Show. This is Governor Patterson here in New York State. Yeah, what the, what the hell is he talking about? Now? Don't want to piss off the local bloggers. We're going to talk about New York State for a second. Is that okay? All we do is talk about New York. Ah, this is important. Virginia's still here, too. Apparently has left the union. Okay, back to New York. Right. Exactly. And if they get this accomplished in New York, guess what? It's going to go everywhere. Governor Patterson wants to tax uh, uh, the Internet porn. What? He wants to tax Internet porn. You know, I read Just that. Just because this Wait guy is blind and, and can't enjoy Internet porn, he wants us all to suffer. Why should the governor Find get... your money somewhere else. Why should they get their hands there? Why? Why should they profit from that? That's a very good question. 4% on what? A 4% tax on what? Ugh. Each batch? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, any transaction that's related to that. He's added the digital download tax to his package for, uh, like, iTunes stuff, and now they want to add it to uh, porn sites. Yeah. Yep. And it might even go higher. They might make it, you know, in the syntax category, which is uh, escalated, like they do cigarettes. It would be a huge tax. How dare the government continually stick their hands in everybody's pockets. Amazing. It is sickening because they can't manage the money we give them. They have to just continue digging their filthy hands in your pockets and taking more. Yeah, we all look at our paychecks and you go, wow, the government just got all that? It doesn't matter how much you make, by the way. It, it's all relative. Yeah, you're like, yeah. I make this much, and you'll look at, wow. I just gave the government the, the, and like Jimmy said, and they can't figure out how to manage that money properly, and so they go after more of our money. That's more. crazy. Give us more. That's nuts. Oh, and I didn't even think of the whole thing with the porn, internet porn, and the fact that he can't see it. <laughs> oh, you didn't know where I was going with that? No, I, I, I now it makes complete sense. Why would he care? <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't. He hasn't seen a freaking. Hard to spank to Braille, yeah. I would think. <laughs> what else do you want to tax? Sunglasses and eye charts? <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Boo. How about we tax dogs, seeing eye dogs? How about that? Or canes? 
Shout and out. I want a 1,000% increase on binocular tax. <laughs> It's uh, wait, wait. it's a nice headline. Magnifying glasses, other things of sight. <laughs> of sight. Of Just sight. keep rattling them off. Yes. Fifty thousand dollar monocle tax. <laughs> Monocles. <laughs> he they, also they couldn't in, figure out how to anchor that crap to your head. You had to like squint your eye to hold that thing in place. It's terrible. <laughs> it, the monocle is terrible. All right, our, our the people that came before us. I don't even want to call them our ancestors. They were just stupid. You get a little piece of glass. Yeah. That makes you see better. But the only problem is you got to go like this and squint, squint the whole time. You hold it in your eye. There's a monocle, don't you know? And then when you're surprised, it always pops out because you go, oh! <laughs> and then it pops out. But why couldn't we figure out maybe some kind of, like, twine or something? Yeah, eventually they figured out, you know, you got a couple of ears. We can maybe lean a couple of things on there. Right. Hold it on your nose. Right. Put two of them on there so you're not looking through one piece of glass. Oh, is that where glass is not around, or is that just a way for one? That is such a... Who wouldn't put two and two together and go, let's hang I that know. off the ears? Mm. Yeah. It is just the dumb monocle. It really is dumb. Well, the original glasses, I don't know if you know this, were actually a nail through the head <laughs> with a string tied that was just dangling in front of your face. That model didn't sell very well. <laughs> and, and the guy didn't understand. It was called the ouch. <laughs> yes. He opened up a shop and everything and waited for people to show up, and they never did. Nobody purchased it. So what's going on with this stunt brain? I mean, this is a nice headline, but it'll, it's going to take a long time for this to actually happen, right? No, they could get this done in a couple of months, but the, the big scandal about him today is he imposed a uh, wage freeze on all the state employees. And then they find out he gave a bunch of his employees right. huge raises. So if that comes to light, they're going to start sitting on all this stupid tax oh. stuff. It looks like he's pulled the uh, fat tax idea. Who? Everybody said that was stupid. Who misses Elliot Spitzer? Come on, raise your oh, hand out there. I did from day one. Well, when raise I found your out, hand. When I found out what he was all about, then I started missing him. He'd be bad too, I bet you, right now though, with, with the, the economy. Yeah. Well, he wouldn't get all this all this stuff done because he's got to get some party time in. One of our uh, favorite uh, people, Gary Ackerman. You know, we've we've talked about Ackerman. Gary. Well, kitty Gary, porn. Please no, tell me no, it's kitty no, porn. No, no, no. But in this day and age, we've known him forever. It's the scarlet letter of overspending. Right. Is uh, what he's done. Apparently, he's uh, he went to uh, England. If for something he says was some congressional thing he had to go to. Yeah, right. Uh, at a cost for travel of $14,000. <laughs> uh, and, and somebody was grilling him on this. Nice. Just grilling him on it. And he finally fessed up. First he went, I didn't go to England. That was his first answer. <laughs> it's like, no, we have records that you went to England. And he goes, oh, it was a congressional thing. He goes, how come it cost you $14,000 to travel to England? Right. He goes, oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't book that. You know, you'll have to talk to someone. It's always someone else. They pass the buck. It turns out he went first class. Nice. The whole, you know, and I'm sure it was, it was really nice first class on a nice, expensive oh, yeah. airline. Yeah. Who's Gary Ackerman? Gary Ackerman's uh, yeah, one of these local politicians. Queens, um, uh, yeah, a congressman uh, from congressman. Uh, Queens. We've talked to him, though. Yeah, many times. Yeah, he's been uh, on our show. And, I, uh, I love when you get caught for something. Your first your first try is to just completely no, deny no, that. No, it wasn't me. You even did the crime. And then it's like, oh, yeah, that. Okay. And then you got to make it sound like you just misunderstood the question. <laughs> right. Oh, oh, right. Oh, oh that England. Europe. Oh, that yeah. Europe. That England. Right. Yeah, that England. Oh, okay. I thought you meant New England. Right. Which is because it's here. <laughs> And, and it's closer, and to spend fourteen thousand to go to like you yeah. know Vermont, and who does silly? And who doesn't enjoy the fall fo foliage? Foliage, I did do that, right? Uh, but England, why? I I don't. Uh, He's probably like hanging out with some hot French whore. Yeah, like Franklin, like Benjamin Franklin. That's what he used to do he over used there. To go there and have sex with perfumed up French whores. How hot does that sound, French whore? Until you realize that they don't didn't shave very well. They had no VD stuff Anywhere. back then. Yeah, that's probably like it's probably there's a stress on virginity. It's probably venereal disease. Yeah, I'm getting in Ooh. society, sure, because back then they couldn't cure it. Oh my God, that probably but Ben Franklin might have had that. Maybe that's why all know. his hair fell out. His hair fell out. He needed follicles. By the way, worst. That's what he was doing with that that key and the yeah. And <laughs> he was trying to get shocked and put it in his head, thinking he was going to grow new follicles. He was trying to shock yes. the growth area. Yes. yes. He was being sick of being called that bald fat lady with the high stockings. <laughs> <laughs> worst lie ever getting caught was when me and Levy. This is probably 1994. Had went to Canada to do gigs and we didn't get working papers. We were making no money, and we got stopped at the border. 
And I had no cash, and Bobby didn't have cash. He had credit cards. And they're like, what are you doing in Canada? You know, and we didn't want to say we're going to work because we had no papers. So we're like, oh, we're just going to visit. And they're like, well, you haven't, how much money do you have on you? And I'm like, nothing. <laughs> and Bob's like, nothing. And they're like, could you guys come in the office? Oh, so oh, we're in the man. office, and they're like, what are you guys doing up here? Have you ever been to Canada before? And I'm like, no. And Bob's like, no. And they check Bob Levy, and they're like, well, it says that you're a performer, and you performed here, and you performed there, and you performed in Toronto, and you performed in Montreal. And he's like, oh, yeah, that was Canada. <laughs> <laughs> you did. <laughs> that was what he said, yeah, that was Canada. That should have been followed by a full body cavity search. <laughs> Dude, it was the worst lie anyone's ever told. Horrible. I, I, I looked up to Levy back then, and even I was like, you are a blithering <laughs> idiot. Those, those Border Patrol people make everybody into a panicky Pete, though. Yep. I don't know what it is, but you just start out. They know, how to, they know how to ask the questions like that, too, where it's like they'll ask you something, you trip up, and they go, no, we already got the answer, dummy. I'm not I'm not asking you a question. Right. I'm looking to see if your answer matches mine. Every time I drive into Canada, I'm always telling the passenger, act normal. Just, yeah. just act normal. And Be they, cool. And they always have to turn to me like, why don't you take your own advice, you panicky Pete? You're, yeah, you're let, losing let your me, mind uh, here. Let me handle this. Let me handle this. <laughs> All right. Uh, thought I'd take care of it right here in Brainerd. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you take care of it. Yeah. So we got a tax I want to be in full compliance. Tax thing on internet full porn. Compliance. Yep. compliance. Stupid full compliance. Let's say hi to Mike in Connecticut. My Mike. tags. Mike. Hey, how you doing? Good, What's Mike. Going on, guys? Hey. Hey, I was calling about that grill store you're going to get to, man. Oh, the chimpanzee. Sure. Yeah, man. I, I'm from Connecticut, man, and uh, we used to see that lady. You know, drive that thing around town during the summer. They'd ride around with like a convertible, and like they'd bring it to the ice cream store. It'd be like dressed up like a little kid and shit. Or, oh, sorry. nice stuff. Sorry, boys. It, yeah. Uh, yeah, apparently yeah. this chimp so. was very uh, popular, very famous. Uh, yeah. Chimp has been on commercials and stuff. Uh, Old Navy, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Coke. Old Coke. Yeah, you see it. You see it around town, all over the place, man. And, and, uh, I guess it must have just had a bad day or something. And this woman uh, would drive around this two hundred pound. Uh, what amounted to a 200-pound bodybuilding strength retard <laughs> is pretty much what it is. That's what you got to know. A chimp is pretty much a giant man that is pumped up on steroids. Picture that. A pumped up on steroids retard. It's pretty much yeah, taking your Down syndrome kid and just pumping right. him up on the roids. Pump him up on the roids so, and then man. slap him around and let him out and see how he interacts with people. Sometimes <laughs> he'll shake hands and smile. Sometimes he'll eat their face. Yes. <laughs> it's what they do. He'll either pat their head or flip the police car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. You know, you cannot... And they, they say it time and time again, you can't make pets of these friggin' things. You can't, uh, y it, you just can't. Well, they, they have a primal instinct that sometimes clicks in, mm -hmm. and uh, they just decide, for some reason, I don't like you, and I have to eat your face off. Yeah. They said he might have had Lyme disease, though, which makes you nuts. The, the people say oh, yeah. he had Lyme disease, and the first woman he attacked was a friend of the family, but they said a dummy might not recognize her because her hair was different. So when she came over, he just attacked why, wouldn't you just keep your hair exactly the same yes, every I time would. you're hanging out that's with the lady and the are. chimp? The chimp in the, in the wild doesn't look, and all of a sudden the female chimp he's with is, has a new hairdo mm. or extensions. They just look the same. Unbelievable. Change that hair. That chimp wants to, to bite off your uh, your private areas, your feet, your hands, and your face. We're so lame, too. Like, you know, us gym rats, we go to the gym, we lift, and we think, wow, we're strong. And then you read a story about this chimp who pretty much flipped a, a, a cop car over because yeah, he could. and Ready to rip the all, door open before they shot right, him. Right, just did all this insane stuff. And this guy hasn't spent a, a day in the gym, this dumb chimp. No. They just kind of work out just by living. You think? <laughs> That's they're, pretty much they're it. They're just monsters. It's solid muscle and bone. This thing would, would tear Liddell's face off. Oh, yeah. He'd send Fedor after it. It would bite his head and you smash his genitals. You, you, you can't fight this you thing. You can't right. win. Apparently, uh, the woman uh, that was with the chimp when it attacked this other woman stabbed it with a uh, big uh, kitchen knife, big butcher knife. The owner. Yeah. yeah. yeah the, the owner, owner has stabbed the chimp. That loved this thing like a yeah. child. Well... That made it angry. <laughs> right. It didn't even phase it. Most humans, it would take you down a little bit. Not yeah. a chimp. It just makes them, you know, more. It angry. made him mad. So, so that was the point where it started attacking the cop cars, and it, it started ripping open the door 
to the police vehicle. What, did someone bump into it and on the way out of Manhattan? Got all mad. Lingy, lingy. It, it just started ripping open the door, and that's when the cops are like, screw this, and uh, pumped a few rounds into the old primate. He ran back in the house and uh, died in the house. In his cage. Yeah. He went to his, his cage. cage. He cornered a cop. He ripped the cop door off, and this, this cop is in, in his car probably just panic-stricken while this monkey climbs it out, <laughs> and he had to shoot it. Just started firing into the chimp. <laughs> he pumped bullets into it, man. It's yeah. Like, uh, it's a... And it, like Jimmy said, it had Lyme disease and it was on medication, and the medication might have confused. Out of medication, wait! Now you got to deal with psychotic chimpanzees. <laughs> they, she they would have... give it a Xanax in its tea. <laughs> yes. she would give it that. True, Xanax, <laughs> right? That's great. We yes. can't, we we can't get my mom's medication right, but this lady's going to attempt to get the chimp's medication <laughs> chimp's, right. You know, on that off day when maybe it's o overdosed a bit too much or hasn't had enough of its uh, thing, it just likes to eat your face. Right. I, I got an email from uh, one of the EMTs that were on the scene, mm -hmm. and it said that they aren't even describing the injuries that this woman had. It, it, it had it eaten through her face, uh, uh. Ripped, ripped her teeth out. Um, her eyes. Why does the chimp like, always go for the her face? Eyes and nose, and just this woman doesn't have a face anymore. Her eyes are she blind now? Yeah, took her eyes out. Both eyes. Yeah, they must know that's a tasty treat oh, in the wild. I, human eyes are a delicacy. They always in the go chimp for the world. face. They probably go for the face because that's the only part that's exposed. It's very wise. vulnerable, and I think that's the part that they're threatened well, they by because they don't want to chew through the clothes. They want to get right to the meat. But they do. Also, they took her, her hand off, ripped her arm off just below the elbow. Did just it? rip the frigging woman's arm off. Well, it actually the chimps. The, when I when when I was first did that pilot with Mikey, the chimp we had. Little Mikey was so cute. He was adorable, and they said don't smile at him because like that that looks like you're baring your teeth. Yeah. And there's certain eye contact things that they miss. But the eyes are vulnerable. It's pretty much the same rules that apply to the subway. Yes. And if the chimp begins to say uh, I'm homeless, and uh, just don't trust it because he's right. on the you. You're gonna eat your face. Well, they, they they go for the things that can hurt them, like your eyes, mm -hmm. your yeah. teeth can bite them, um, and, and your hands can hurt. It, that's probably like how they fight in the wild. They, I think they, it's also what's threatening to them. Like, it's your eye contact, your 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 mouth, like you said, baring your teeth, things like that. Like, they're used to those those facial expressions meaning something. Sure. So they probably just want to eliminate that by, by biting it off. Right. And then the other things that could hurt them, the limbs, they go for the limbs. Oh, if and I, then the uh, genitals are also a target. If I, had I guess a, to, you know, hey, you're not procreating anymore. Yeah. I'm putting you out of business. If I had a pet chimp, I would just be on Valium all the time so I had no facial the, expressions. Oh, yeah. So you could just walk around with, like, the thousand-yard stare, <laughs> right. not making any facial oh, expressions. Oh, no. By the way, I just hung up on five phone calls that would have got us fired. Racist, racist, of racist, course. racist, and racist. Why is that? I'm just reading uh, things. Uh, oh, my goodness. Here's the news story. Fox 5 News has learned tonight that the chimp might not have recognized the victim because she changed her hair color. Oh, God. And what the, um, the victim, someone close to the chimp's owner, is telling us that the family is torn apart by the wild struggle that followed. Well, the woman was torn apart. <laughs> yeah, no, Kim. The what? family is fine. They have to use the... the the words torn apart. That hairdresser must be feeling a little guilty. <laughs> oh, I changed the color. I didn't think the chimp would notice. I just thought it would make her look more youthful. She looked fabulous. <laughs> he made it into the shape of another chimp. <laughs> so he thought that this was a lady with a chimp on her head. She gave her, he gave her something that's new. It's a new hairstyle called the banana. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. No, he, he, made, he painted her hair white and made it look like a row of, of growling teeth. <laughs> Old growling teeth hair. They'll look Love it. I'm telling you. Oh, oh. They ripped your teeth out? Why would you change yeah. your hairstyle if you're oh. living around a chimp? Well, she went to over there. She probably didn't think that the crazy monkey would attack her. It's always a guest. Don't visit people with chimps. Oh. That's what I say. Scott from Hoppog, a little uh, fun fact today for everybody. Human eyes, one of the greatest treats of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Before that happened to Sam, when his, he changed his hair, he let his hair grow, and the monkey didn't recognize him. Uh, uh. What we've learned about the victim, she's 55 years old, and she was very well known to the owner. In fact, she visited there practically every single day at this house, a large sprawling property in North Stamford. And she was so close to this chimp that she even had a gift for him in the car that she was bringing over there today. 
Don't oh. bring gifts. That seems to be a taboo thing also. No kidding. You know what happened to the guy that brought the cake? Yeah, they just get a little too excited when they see gifts. Unless you have enough for all the chimps. You're losing a thumb, your genitals, your face, your hand, your foot. Gouged her eyes out? Yeah. And her nose just is gone? Bit her. Imagine the horror of just seeing those giant chimp teeth opening up and biting into you. There's the guy that lost his nose to a chimp attack. Yeah, that was Didn't the... they put oh, a better nose on does him? Does he look silly? No, that's... Uh, see those little marks? Those are little magnets. So he pulled his nose off so he could show you... Oh, he's got What he would look like nose? without the fake nose. Yeah, I've seen the magnetic nose thing. It's that's the creepiest... Good. You see it every once in a while on the streets. It's the creepiest thing. Oh. But it but it, it it covers up a world of hurt. Let's have him walk past an electromagnet and just have it <laughs> fly off. <laughs> flies off his head. He's trying to board a plane. He gets stuck to the door. A clink. On the outside. <laughs> so you have to silly. get on the plane. I can't help it. A clink. <laughs> My nose is stuck. <laughs> How dope that guy is. <laughs> just wear a mask. I would force him to take off his nose. Every Burlap time he goes, sack with a hole in it. Every time he goes through the metal detector, I would force him to take it off. Yeah. He should wear it upside down just to really get people at the party talking. <laughs> Oh God, it's raining. He made drown. <laughs> Hello. The victim arrived, and as soon as she got out of the car, the chimp who had roamed outside of the house onto the property, which was pretty normal for him to do, immediately attacked her. The 70-year-old woman who Oof. owned the chimp, she went to help her friend, but this chimp, who was 200 pounds, exhibited superhuman strength. That's what Ed's talking it's about. Superhuman. It's not human. And she's 70. Yeah, <laughs> she's 70. What's she going to do? We have Box with it? We yeah. haven't invented a roid yet that can make you as strong as a chimp. No. They're talking about A-Rod and the rest of them. Chimp baseball. Chimp baseball. Dude, if you could teach chimps how to do it, it would be home run city. And then you wouldn't have to worry about the steroid thing. You would have a lot of walks, though. How do you get around the walk thing? I know. Well, you need a good pitcher. That's How are you going to get hard. a good chimp to pitch I bet strikes. you could get a chimp to uh, to hit, but it'd probably be hard to get him to really pitch. Right. And, you know, pick up the signals from the chimp <laughs> catcher. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's the whole communication thing then, they don't have figured out And yet. then in between batters, the, the chimp pitcher is eating the balls. So, yeah. I mean, it's, come on. Yeah. We're trying to play baseball here. Of the umps. Yeah. <laughs> of the umps. <laughs> Of the ups. <laughs> Stupid chimp baseball. Ah, uh, chimp baseball. You know, I forgot. I was just thinking they're so strong it would be cool, but it would just look stupid. It would be, be out in the outfield spinning around like Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, you brush the guy back with a pitch, he eats your genitals. Yeah. <laughs> like, All right, we got to stop the game and get another pitcher. Ours has been mauled. Go to the bullpen. <laughs> you know, I think we'd be able to get one game done, but it would be a hell of a game. I'd watch. I don't think you'd ever get a second game. Yes. But, uh, yeah. How about this? I have an idea. If you want to own a chimp, he has to have false teeth that you can only put in, in his cage when he's Very eating. Good. So when he walks around, he can only mush bananas in his gums. <laughs> yeah, you'd be laughing at him as he's trying to bite you. Well, you wouldn't be laughing. He'd still be gouging your thing out and be gumming your nose. <laughs> yes, but at least it wouldn't you know, rip your face off. Yeah. yeah. The scene was so dangerous in this North Stanford property that when EMS arrived, they had to be escorted by by the police to try and get that woman out of there. And even then, this ordeal and this struggle did not stop. What cops tell us then happened is that the chimp started to turn on the police. The cops retreated into their cars. They immediately notified people in the neighborhood to have any children that were outside. This happened about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, brought into the home. And then the chimp went over to one of the cop cars, actually opened the door, and began assaulting the officer. That's when a cop pulled out his gun fired several shots into the chimp. The chimp ran away. They followed the trail of blood, which led to the chimp inside the home, inside a room that was kind of his habitat, where he basically lived, and that's where they found the chimp's body. God, her describing it. Sounds like they were fighting Godzilla. Yeah, they were. And then there was a cage that pretty much took up the entire room. Yeah. One of these rooms in the house. <sighs> Damn you all to hell! <laughs> Oh, six years ago, the same chimp had to be tranquilized by cops. Grace. Yep. Yeah, maybe maybe that tells you something right there. Grace. His name was Travis, by the way, the chimp. Yeah. yeah. Little Travis. Exactly. Couldn't get enough man ass. <laughs> 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 Want to find out about the victim? Here it is. Here right. it is. An unbelievable ordeal. Tonight, that 55-year-old woman is in extremely critical condition at Stanford Hospital. The 70-year-old widow who owns the chimp is also being treated for an undisclosed uh, injuries and what police tell us it's not illegal in Connecticut to it's not illegal in Connecticut to own an exotic pet 
Gary and Ernie, back to you guys. Extraordinary story. Lisa, thank you very much for giving us all the details. Thank you. All right, now to the economy and crisis. What about the world? <laughs> now the economy and crisis. That's how important your life is. It's worth a couple minutes on the news and then move on to the next story. Yeah. That's how they uh, started the actual news broadcast. They, they came in like it was breaking news, and then just the anchors really could care less about the story and went right into Obama and finance. Well, yeah, we're... We're more affected by the economy than some dumb chimp that's running around Connecticut. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That chimp needs a good spanking, as far as I'm concerned. Yes. And he got one with a 9 millimeter <laughs> <laughs> And a knife and everything else. What happened to the owner? She's in the hospital, too. I yeah. bet he didn't hurt her too bad. I mean, it, it's... The chimp probably ripped her uterus out. <laughs> Whatever was Threw her nose or something. 70 years old. She's 70. Basically, if you, if she, if you just kick her in the shins, it falls out. <laughs> Raisin. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the rosin bag after a pitcher drops it. <laughs> <laughs> you get scared and it falls to the ground. Uh, oh, that's great. But nice. no, it, it's... Uh, it, it, she, I bet you the chimp just probably batted her away. I'm going to guess that her yeah. injuries are not that serious. Yeah. Even that one with the, with the man with the silly hole in his face got his nose bitten off, that was not his chimp that did it. Those were no. two other chimps that he didn't know when he was going to bring cupcakes to his chimp. Right, but you don't bring cupcakes to the one chimp and not give them to the other. No, common course, knowledge that's, is, yeah, that would not they be get smart. so angry. I'm sure they do attack their owners sometimes, but... All right, we got to take a quick break, Oof. and we'll continue... That chimp needs a good slap in the... I would have slapped that chimp's face. I heard a uh, fantastic uh, cop story over the weekend. Can we that tell it next? Just, yes, it's it's something that's happening in this fine city down in the uh, meatpacking district that is... I, I, I Who knew this was going on? Oh, no. Look at you teasing. I love it. <laughs> Opie and Anthony. You're checking out the Opie and Anthony show. 877-212-O-N-Day. We got Calvin in Indiana. He's been hanging out for like a half hour on the phone. Calvin, what's up? How's it going, boys? All right, Calvin. Hey, I was just curious if you guys talked yes. to a Christian Bale segment on Family Guy this past Sunday. Yeah, a lot of people talking about the Christian Bale Family Guy remix. Heard it. It was, yeah. it was priceless. I think our listeners came up with better ones, but definitely uh, definitely funny what yeah, they did with it. pretty funny. I think we can yep. play for everybody before Anthony gets to his cop story. Ooh, that's quick. Thanks, uh, Calvin. Thanks, I just, boys. Have a good one. I kind of just used you to set up the bit. Sorry. I want you off the set, you Sorry. No, don't just be sorry. Think for one second. I dropped a peanut M&M and it rolled over here. Am I going to walk around and whip <laughs> your lights down in the middle of a scene? Those are Christmas lights. I put them up to make everyone happy. Then why the f*** are you walking right through? Uh, da -da -da -da, like this in the background. What the f is it with you? Boy, you were going to owe a fortune to the swear jar. You got any idea about, hey, yeah. it's distracting yeah. having somebody walking up behind Bryce in the middle of the f scene. Give me a f answer. I, I don't get it. What don't you get about it? I, I don't get why we need another Terminator. I just, I, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> oh, and uh, by the way, sorry, I, I, I ate that last piece of pie that you were saving for yourself. Oh! Oh, good for you. And how was it? It was good. I hope it was good because it's useless now, isn't it? Wait, it's nourishing me, so that's that's useful. Sake, man, you're amateur. I don't know that word. Stay off the set, man. Right, let's go again. Can we just take a minute? Let's not take a minute. Let's go again. I gotta go pee, and I want to walk around some more, but I want to do it while the scene's going. You're unbelievable, man. I, I, I just don't understand. Uh, you don't understand what it's like working with actors that's what that is i don't i don't think that's what that that's is. what that is man i'm telling you hey, my family's coming to town do you mind pretending that i'm the director i want to <laughs> kick your <laughs> you <laughs> shut no, up for a second don't right? hurt me mr Barry. i'm gonna go you want me to go trash your lights no do you want me to trash them no i don't want you to trash them you do it one more <laughs> time i ain't walking on this set if you're still hired sorry it's my first day i'm Serious. You're a nice guy. You're a nice guy. I don't feel like a nice guy. But I don't <laughs> cut it when you <laughs> around like this, Hunter. You're a nice guy. You're a nice guy. I don't feel like a nice guy. But I don't <laughs> cut it when you <laughs> around like this on set. Jeez, you punch your mother with that mouth? Seriously, man. You and me, we're <laughs> on professionally. Wait, just professionally? <gasps> Are you asking me out on a date? <laughs> <laughs> 
That's a very, very <laughs> yeah, that's dude. That's funny. hilarious. That's, that's very really well good. done. <laughs> you punch your mother with that now. <laughs> I was on the wrong website because I only heard part of that. That's really? Great. Yeah, I didn't hear that whole thing. Yeah, that was a good that's one. That's really funny. That was on the you show this very week. Well, uh, was it actually on the show or because uh, you know they're starting to do stuff just for the web now? Mm. Yeah, but no, that was actually part of the episode okay. that aired on Sunday, and they aired that whole thing. Yes. Wow. Very. Yes, cool. they did. Mm. How do they get the rights to the Christian Bell audio? I don't How think does it that work? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just that's common of, usage, I guess, right? Yeah, sure. You hear me sounding loyally? I have no idea what I'm talking about. Once well, it's out there, I think. Uh, what's he gonna do? Mm. Sue? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Sue? You know, how stupid. He looks suing the Family Guy for <laughs> making fun of his audio. <laughs> he looks like a real boob. <laughs> yeah, I think he wants that just to kind of fade away at this point. Before we move on, we got to play our favorite, Josh in Connecticut. Yes. If it was went from 14th Street to 27th Street, that's tolerable. <laughs> I just did a circuit court judge reference. Of course, but an old one. It was brilliant. <laughs> Very old. Yeah. <laughs> is that the is that that doesn't sound right. That's the edited version. It's very funny if um, you know, you would have a little time. You don't have much time. <laughs> Um, oh, and you're taking tape off 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 the CD, the other CD player? Are you crazy? Yeah. It has like construction, you know, tape that basically says "Don't use." Do not use. This is how desperate we're getting. That stunt brain goes. Well, what the hell? I'll take the tape off this thing and we'll give this a whirl. Hope but we already determined that this CD explode. player sucks. Please burst into flames. Oh, you want me to burst into flames? No, I want to see that ex burst into you, flames. Really? Yeah. All right. <laughs> no. What? No, it's no. The CD. That is a good point, Mike. God damn it, you made a valid point. All right, where's Z Rock? Huh? All right, now Daniel made a good point. What, that would Daniel? be two CDs in a row. Well, if it was the CD, I mean, the, it, the other one screwed up too. So that was Danny's way of, of, of vehemently disagreeing with right. Mike. Yes. And his analysis. Look, here's something. Oh, here comes the new slim down E Rock. Oh, look at you. Oh, oh, you drop a few pounds. Must have lost a few Did ounces really? over with. It's not oh, showing yeah. yet, but I imagine it will. <laughs> Thank you. Kidding. Your ears look better. Give me another copy of that. <laughs> Less wax. Quickly, another copy for the boss. <laughs> <laughs> and hurry up because we played at 750 last time, so we got to play it now. That's right, Carl. To get a whole face. new audience. Hey, <laughs> here's something to the corporate guys. Old chubby guy. In the year 2009, CD players shouldn't be uh, this big. No, no, they could be very, very, very tiny. tiny at this point, right? Very, very tiny. How big is this thing? It's like a, it's like an old stereo component. Yeah, it's one of those. It's very big. But it's even bigger than the old stereo components. Yeah, you never had one that was that, like, tall and long. <laughs> the thing is ridiculous. I don't know why we still have those. The, does corporate even, like, acknowledge that we're having problems with the equipment? Yeah. Do they understand it completely shuts down the show for a few minutes every single time? Yep. And mm. what are they saying? They're getting to it. Getting to it. They're hiding under their desks. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Duck! And, and cover. cover. That's what they're doing. Nice. Well, Anthony had a story which yeah, I am interested go. in because it's in a part of the city which I am familiar with. That you enjoy. Oh. No, I wouldn't say enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was speaking with a police officer friend of mine yep. um, over the weekend. What's his badge number? And um, I will not give that out. <laughs> and um, <laughs> as he was patrolling with his a partner... They heard uh, some loud music coming from one of the uh, upper floors of one of these buildings that are shaped like the Flatiron Building. You know, a lot of buildings down there in the old meatpacking district are on these weird corners mm -hmm. um, where, you know, the building's kind of shaped odd, but not really much to the story there. Uh, he just heard some loud music playing and uh, decided to check it out, give him a ticket for uh, being loud. So... Uh, he also noticed there was a line of gentlemen, like, out the door going into uh, this uh, building. 
So he uh, wants to investigate this, uh, give them a ticket for being too loud. That's part of his job. So the elevator didn't work, so he had to take the stairs. Goes up the stairs. It goes into a room, opens up the door. There's the front room where there's a bunch of garbage bags. Just a bunch of garbage bags on the floor, kind of around a table. Um, I guess, you know, tied up at the top. Just kind of garbage bags. So uh, there's another room. That seems to be where the music is coming from. Oh, my God. What horror so show did he see? He, um, he opens up the door. Right. And there, lo and behold, right. to his eyes, are about 200 naked men having <laughs> sex with each other. To loud music, sweating, having every type of man-on-man sex you could imagine. <laughs> So, uh, uh, yes. So the officer, I mean, he had to jump in. What the hell? Well, right? you got it at that point. <laughs> I mean, it's, got... a, it's a freebie. He, uh, some of them saw wow. him walk in and kind of ran out. Right. Uh, but a lot of them didn't know that there were cops in the establishment. Music's blasting at this point. They're just <laughs> sweating and and having sex with each other. They probably just figured it was part of the show. Yeah. Oh, the cop. Hey, oh, right. the fake cop. Ooh. <laughs> the fake cops coming in. Now we're all going to get arrested, I bet. Yeah. Woo. They, they, they pinned down the cop and make him part of the show, thinking that he was just, you know, there for the entertainment. Uh, yeah, so. Wow, really? Yeah. So, so uh, What's the line out the door all about? Well, the line out the door was the guys waiting to get in. They were still, they were packed. Literally, but but they uh, they were more wanting to get in. So uh, 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 the officer just reached up for the wires to the speakers and ripped them out and just yelled, "Get the f- out of here!" And then awkwardly, they all had a stand because there were so many of them stand, kind of covering themselves with <laughs> their hands while they waited on a line to get their clothing, which had been placed in these garbage bags. They put their clothing in the garbage bags and, and and put them in this other room. It's like going to a concert where you have to put all your stuff exactly. in a bag. Exactly. This event apparently was promoted, and this is stuff that's going on. And he said that beforehand, like a, a couple of months ago or so, he had heard the same loud music coming out of this building, and just didn't you know didn't do anything it, about it at that time. But uh, it was just, and then he realized him and his partner were in that part of the building that is right at the corner. And there were all these just nude men, and he started thinking, you know, if they want to just turn around at some point, we're in trouble. So they called a couple more cars up to uh, kind of watch the uh, to to cover their uh, backs. <laughs> what do you mean they wanted to turn around? The cops, if the guys went to yeah, because there was no exit. It was like that that uh, corner in the Flatiron Building that's very narrow. The, it, it wasn't the Flatiron Building though. No, no, it's it just a building, building like that. Yeah. Uh, so that, but the the when good he, to know they cured the AIDS thing, huh? That's all I was thinking is that good to know has to be there. Just has to be so much disease being spread when there's just random nude men, and then uh, uh, this. Uh, uh, <laughs> I was gathering audio for the show. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Did Keith arrest people, or he just let them? Who? Uh, I mean. <laughs> No, well, no. Whoever no this idea. guy is. I have no idea. I know you know a lot of but, uh, officers. No, there was I a, apologize to Keith because I have no idea if he, he was the one. There was a, uh, a summons uh, uh, that was going to go out to the DJ. If uh, nah, Sorry. There was a summons going to be given out to the DJ if uh, the DJ wasn't able to come up with uh, somebody that ran this thing. So he got on the phone and... Um, the, the promoter came down and apparently the, does this before. Has a promoter. Promoter. Is a promoter for this thing. It a whole motor. A, a whole motor. <laughs> um, yeah, it's got some kind of name to it, some kind of cutesy name I can't quite recall. And and uh, they all come up and just get naked. And then uh, uh, this uh, officer's partner, who was um, uh, with him at the time, said, uh, Boy, did you see that old guy? <laughs> uh, he just was getting slammed and wouldn't stop even after like the music went off there's just an old guy getting it from some young buck well what are they gonna do throw him in jail i mean yeah Ah, well Uh, more the same uh, none of them got thrown in jail it was just you know get out (laughs) right but uh they wrote him up like nine nine tickets for all kinds of stuff they had a, a a bar set up 
You know, where they were uh, selling booze, so you can't do that. They was, but they arrested dude, anybody or just tickets? Two, just uh, tickets. You know they're you know they're trying to change the image of the meatpacking oh, district. Oh well, they, that certainly didn't help. When you hear loud music coming from uh, windows in the meatpacking district, just know what's going on up there. Exactly. Wow. Parties are hard to get into. Fun, <laughs> fun goodness. I was gathering audio. Yes, I was very busy for the show. That's you know how right. much it sucks to wait outside for an hour in the I middle was, of winter? I was freezing. Knowing all that goodness is happening inside? Dude, you just know how- one garbage bag with, like, flame T-shirts <laughs> yeah, in yeah. it. Stay cozy. <laughs> Stay cozy. Yeah, but that was actually because people were throwing it away. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Dude, do you know there was one guy... That got in there and literally just took his hog out before the police yelled freeze. <laughs> oh, yeah. It How had... disappointing. Ah. Mm. Like, yeah, this is paradise. Just nude men. And I... What? The cops? I'm what? <laughs> I have to what? And they must have been all just frothed up. Where do you go after that? Where do you go when you're kicked out 200 nude men onto the streets? <laughs> oh, the lights are on. You all look at these oh, embarrassed you're just looking faces. Around. All right, you're going to Maybe this stairwell? What do you want to do? <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, that just... Uh, line out the door. What a story. He said he just had never seen anything like that. He's seen a lot of cool stuff, too. 200 men, completely naked, just, just having every type of sex. Guys using every appendage possible. Just going to town. There yes, were people that were, uh, our fair city. There were people though that literally, as soon as his voice bell, were, were one, were one push away yes. from being done. Yes, and <laughs> and freeze, I believe. Uh, yeah, <laughs> get out! Oh no, I don't want to get out. You ruined it. <laughs> They're all doing poppers. No, oh, you know it. I was like, what did it? I said, what did it smell like when you walked in? It's like, what do you think? Yeah, exactly. It's just like, smells like cranky, cranky crack and sweat and just man. The musky smell of man, of m- naked man. And the lights, <laughs> and the lights come on, they're all going to get dressed like a bunch of silly geese. Yeah, they just, and they were standing there, you know, just kind of cupping themselves while they waited online to get their clothes. Just when you said that, I just dry heaved a little bit <laughs> with your yeah. description. With anticipation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, get all that vomit out of the way so there's more room. <laughs> oh, all right. It's like when you want to drink more, you know, you puke first, you empty the stomach. And then here we go. Back <laughs> at it. Uh, we're going to try this Christian Bale thing again. Oh. And I promise you, if this skips, this CD player has seen its last day on the Opie and Anthony show. Yeah, can I This is it? Josh in Connecticut. Oh, I will I will kick the tray right off. Karate kick it. Nope. Going to do a, a kick up. What the fuck are you doing? No! It's fucking distracting! Fuck! I want you off the fucking set, you prick! What don't you fucking understand? Let's go again! Oh, good for you! Thought it was our copy. Good for you, yeah. Good for you. All right, Whitey in Illinois, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Hey, uh, I, I hear you guys talking about uh, this, uh, this big thing down in the meatpacking district. I thought Jimmy wasn't going to have a party for his birthday. Was oh, that, sir? Oh, Jimmy. What'd you say, I sir? broke up your party, sir. Your yeah. birthday party. Jimmy, did you get a T-shirt from uh, Tummy Sticks 2009? I, I don't know why, sir. You feel the need to uh, to, <laughs> to embarrass me. <laughs> That's a good one. Happy birthday, Jimmy. Thank you, buddy. All right, Whitey. <laughs> let's, uh, let's take a break and we'll uh, regroup here. We'll go to the FU line. It's Opie and Anthony. Thanks for calling the Opie and Anthony FU line. Here's the latest batch of FUs. You have seven new voice messages. First voice message. Yeah, I'd like to give a big FU to the New York Island and the Rick DPS show. Thanks to you guys, I haven't been able to watch an effing goddamn game in three years. 
F you, Alan. Next message. I want to give a big fuck you to myself because despite doing nothing wrong, I woke up this morning to my girlfriend telling me, screw you, and I ended up apologizing to her. What a fucking pussy am I. Fuck you, myself. Next message. Hey, you fucking disgusting monster in the lane next to me. Why don't you put your goddamn phone down and concentrate on your fucking horrid ability to drive, you fucking disgusting yeah, I would like to send a nice big F you to my supposed girlfriend, who I tried nothing but to please her and break my back and practically go broke to pick a fight with me during the week of Valentine's Day and even give her a bigger surprise that I'm not going to give her because she decided to fight with me. How queen. Next message. Hi, I just want to give a big F you to my boss. Well, I asked for a reason, now he totally ignores me. Fuck you. Next message. Hi, I want to give a big F you to Peter, Lisa, Michael, and all the other assholes where I work. Thanks for letting me know that I was getting a pay cut by putting it in the fucking paper. You guys are a bunch of pussies. Fuck you. Next message. Yeah, this is Drunk Chris from Long Island. I'd like to give a big F you to all brains of single malt scotch for going down so smooth and starting the night off great, only to later convince me it was a good idea to slap my date and yell out dumb shit at Jimmy's 1030 show Friday at Caroline's and leaving me with chills of the Duke's variety for the four future. I'm glad I slapped a bitch and all, but I should know better than to leave comedy to the professionals. Fuck you! And the few messages. Call the Opie and Anthony FU line. 866-FU line 1. That's 866-FU line 1. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs> Opie and Anthony. Got to give props to Anthony. Oh. You nailed that uh, plane crash. Yes, I ought to join the uh, either the FAA or the uh, National Transportation Safety Board. Yeah, that was uh, oof, icing. You read about the crash over the weekend? Yes. That thing came straight down, 90-degree angle, basically. That's what happens when you lose lift. <laughs> and they said that it took out one house. Yeah. I mean, the the, the neighbors damaged a little bit, but for the most part, just took out the one house. That goes. That shows you that it came straight down. It yep. wasn't like moving forward, so it would have wiped out a couple of houses or anything. And you had a theory last week saying that if they were on autopilot yeah. and then had to get out of autopilot, that uh, that would cause major problems for the uh, the crew. Yeah, if you're on autopilot and the uh, plane starts icing, your autopilot will compensate for it. It'll start pitching the nose of the aircraft up, giving it a little more power just to keep it flying. Uh, and then when it clicks off, you're left with a plane that is in this attitude that you just uh, aren't ready for. And uh, that seems to be what happened. And it also it sounds like nice it was stuff. icing, too. Yeah, the windshield was icing up the leading edge of the wing. And people think a plane's got to be coated with ice to yeah. uh, go down. A quarter inch of ice on the leading edge of a wing just ruins the uh, aerodynamics of a wing. It and can eliminate the lift. Uh, you'll, you'll stall out. They showed the graphic, too. It's like what you said. It was like, like we've all been on planes that, like, when you're coming in, it kind of pitches forward a little bit and then back. It's like, it's like a yeah. weird, you're like, oh. And that's what happened. All of a sudden, it just went down to the right and boom, right yeah. down. You lose, uh, and, and worse is that you're not going to get the icing consistent on both wings, so you're going to get more lift on one wing than the other, so you're going to start rolling mm -hmm. and pitching all over the place. It's very difficult to uh, to fly in those circumstances. Icing is probably the leading cause of non-pilot error uh, crashes. And they, they have that figured out for the most part. Yeah, for the most part. I mean, you got planes flying into Denver every every other minute, yeah, so yeah. they're not crashing all over the mountain. It's, mountain it's a side. weird circumstance. It doesn't necessarily mean cold weather or snow even or anything like that. It's really to do with the t air temperature, humidity in the air, and if um, water and ice can condense on the wing mm -hmm. and then start freezing. Uh, so you you can your plane can ice up without even really having precipitation in the air if there's enough moisture in the air and the surface of your wing which is metal most of the time is that cold that'll just ice up the moisture in the air itself will ice up on the uh, leading edge of your wing and then bye bye bye, -bye. Right, look
What? Here's how I look at it. Uh-oh. If it's snowing, you're getting ice. <laughs> well, that's all. I don't, I don't know all this. We can talk about <laughs> precipitation and it's made of metal. I, I don't well, know. that's true, too. If it's <laughs> snowing. Why I'm sure you're right. Why can't we make the wings out of something else? It's true. Ah, the metal oh. wings seem to be the problem. Well, yeah. Well, how about you have the stupid autopilot automatically heat the wing when a certain amount of ice builds up? They how about a do, sensor? They do have uh, uh, screaming? leading edge um, heaters on planes. To keep my, I don't think this plane had it. Well, the autopilot doesn't turn them on, does it? It seems no. to me, or does it? I don't know. No, I, I, it, you know, you'd have to turn it on yourself. Why don't you send a chimp out there and have him chew <laughs> off the ice, <laughs> paint an old lady's face on the edge of the wing? I don't want to say anything. Just got a snort out of me. First officer was a chick with one year experience in the um, uh, with the company. Maybe she couldn't handle that the, the uh, thing little, when it came uh, out of autopilot. Yeah, it was a little. They needed Sully. I don't know who the pilot was, but. Yeah. First officer. That's horrible. It was a who's who, too. It's reading about all the victims. Oh, my God. Why do we have to read about the victims? You know why? Because so people can have a conspiracy theory. This woman met with Obama very recently. Less than a week. And was talking about her concerns about the 9-11 victims and stuff. Right. And uh, there's some conspiracy theorists that are blogging um, that are making allegations. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Making allegations that... That plane was was uh, that plane had out to go down to keep her quiet. So th- wait about what? <laughs> we all know what. <laughs> uh, well, all right. We don't want to discuss about. Well, what. I'm not going to talk about it. Uh, so the, cons- the conspiracy children are saying that once again the big bad government did it instead yes. of just killing her like in a car wreck. You idiot! Right. Yeah, let's make you it. You gotta take the whole plane down. Let's make, sure? it, let's make it over the top and have headlines all over the world. Yeah. And then they say uh, that more proof of this is the fact that the exact type of aircraft mm-hmm. was the next plane to land on that runway and landed with no nar- problems. Nary a problem. Oof. What is that about? So uh, yes, well the conspiracy theory. Yeah, you know. What are the odds? That. What are the odds though? You lose your husband. Nine eleven. Was he on one of the planes or in uh, the building? No, I think it was in the building. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. well, still. I mean, that's still, yeah. the odds of that. Yeah. Are ridiculous. Still a plane crash. But yeah. uh, you know, the FAA is nothing but uh, part of the government, so they can be controlled when that black box, the information sure. that comes in, could all be um, fooled with by Obama and his new regime to silence this woman. Did you Did you see what Obama did over the weekend? What's he kissing another <laughs> woman that's allegedly homeless but not? Hey, we love Henrietta Hughes. <laughs> Put that newspaper down, we, Jimmy. We love Henrietta Hughes. <laughs> what do you do? Well, Henrietta it, Hughes is an idiot. We love the homeless woman that is that is Henrietta Hate Hughes. Hater. Hater. Well, Obama. Uh, everyone knows when the president has like a long weekend. Camp David. Yeah. Kenny. What was it? Kenny, Kenny Bunkport. Kenny Bunkport. Kenny Bunkport. Not Kenny Bunkport. Ken, Kenny Bunkport. Kenny Bunkport. Yes. It's Bunkport. <laughs> I go to my own Bunkport. It's called Kenny Bunkport. They usually go to a nice, a nice advice. retreat. <laughs> they usually leave their old lives behind for right. four to eight years. They don't even acknowledge they have friends in their old hometown. Nothing. They yep. just, they just say goodbye to all that. Well, not the Obamas. They went back to Chicago. He went back to his house in in uh, the south side of the city, the, the baddest part of town. That's right. If you go down there. You better just beware of a man. Named Leroy Brown. He uh, so now the whole neighborhood because he wants to go back to his old house in Chicago. They have yeah. to pretty much close down the neighborhood so he could visit his old house, I guess. Then he gets his buddies together. They go play basketball. He goes to his favorite gym. He gets his hair cut by his favorite barber at his friend's house. The the barber has to come to the friend's house to cut Obama's hair. Completely different one than what we're used to when the the president has a long yeah. weekend. And then they go to their favorite restaurant, and Oprah's chef uh, cooks at this restaurant and. And it's a whole thing. Oh, that's not his favorite restaurant. Stop it. <laughs> Jesus. By the way. And the and the kids are visiting their old friends. It's a whole yeah. th- whole different different uh, way really of things. Fun fact about Leroy Brown. Yeah. He was actually a guy that Jim Croce met in the army and he got in trouble. <laughs> Apparently, he's a bad guy. Jim Clochie died in a plane crash. Yes, was shot in the head. <laughs> was shot in the mustache. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you think that was an interesting fact? <laughs> no, I hated it. <laughs> that stupid homeless woman. Henrietta Hughes. Henrietta Hughes apparently uh, sold some property Yeah. Uh, uh, for $47,000. Yeah. And then what? 
did what with it? Oh, obviously. Was- How about you use it to live while your your son gets a job? Forty seven thousand. That's nothing. To a homeless person? She had to pay the taxes. trillion, gazillion dollars. How long ago was this? Uh, 2005. All right. That's four years ago. It's gone. Whatever. It's gone. Use it. I'm sure she used it for something. You know something? Woman's a phony. Language. Yeah, leave Henrietta Hughes alone. Please, Henry. All right. She's She's related to me somehow. Better hope not. Well, same last name. I mean, come on. There's got to be something. Uh. Uh, what's this uh, inflatable de-icer thing, Ant? Do you know? Ooh, I don't know. John in Jersey, what's up? I think it's a thing on the wing that actually expands and breaks the ice on the that wing. That sounds oh, right. logical. What do you got, John? Is that the truth? That's exactly what it is. It actually is uh, it's rubber. It inflates to break the ice chips off the wing, but it will not activate in autopilot. And happy birthday, Jimmy. Thank you, buddy. Why, now, why don't they build it where it has to, to work in, in autopilot? Or they just assume that the pilots won't be dumb enough to fly autopilot through that kind ah, of Once you give it the autopilot, that mm. kind of power, that's when Skynet becomes weird. <laughs> well, that would be too much like right, and, you know, yeah. can't have that happen. Are you a pilot, sir? No, I'm in the Air Force. I'm a firefighter. Oh, okay. All know. right. Thank you for that info. Let's. Uh, we got more on uh, icing. Uh, Bill in Minnesota. Bill. Oh, hey, that icing even uh, causes fatness in your radio producers. What's that? Wow. I didn't hear what you said. I like that. Oh, I'm out of here. I'm punching out. Damn it. I'm sorry, Jimmy. I keep doing that. No, no. I actually didn't hear him. I go like, wow. What did he say? Well, the concept was good. It was an icing E-Rock joke. He just didn't have it, have it formulated oh, correctly. I heard, I heard something, something radio. He had something oh. on. Let's go to Brendan. and. Uh, well, did he mean like icing on a cake? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, now that's kind of funny, yeah. but he didn't He didn't set that up. Uh, well, the concept uh, but, uh, was good. He just you know yeah, needed yeah. to work on it he a little bit. He stumbled a little. Icing. I'm sure <laughs> someone will come up with the proper joke. Proper. E-Rock and icing. Icing. Go. Uh, Brennan, what do you got? Hey, guys. How are you doing? Hey, I, a major F you. I live in Clarence, New York, 500, yeah. 500 yards from where this plane crashed. Yeah. I got a major F you to all the curiosity seekers and all the morbid curiosity people that keep parking in front of my house and trying to walk over to the crash. Well, what do you expect from people? We all want to look. Oh, it's I love the people who think they're not the ones that, that, that don't look. We all look. Yeah, if I still lived in Buffalo, and thank God I don't, I would have been there in a second checking out the, the crash site. Oh, you know what, dude? There's a million cars probably walking up the uh, bike path. Oh, <laughs> sick of they, they're interfering with any everything. They're still trying to contain the scene. And I if you lived in the area, you wouldn't go by to check it out? I'd probably go by. Of course you would. Yeah. Everybody oh, I would. I went to look nope. at the plane that was here in uh, the river. Yep. Dude, I understand. I hate rubberneckers. Hate them. But when there's a plane in a house... That's kind of one that's infrequent. Yeah, but, but I love the people that say they hate rubberneckers, but when it's your turn to rubberneck, what are you doing? You're you're still looking forward. I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. Well, I, hate I don't people. Actually, I won't you're look. You're such a liar. Everyone I looks. Look. No, I Everyone look. looks. I try to look and keep my speed. I never slow Let down. Let me tell you something. These people are if, coming straight from Walmart. If there's a... The, oh, uh, shut up, Brent. Wait, what are you hold, saying, hold dude? Hold on, hold on. Hold on, man. Oh, God, I hate that. Go ahead. It, no, I'm kidding. No, he's right. He is a douche. Go ahead, dude. I hate... When it's just a cop pulling someone over. Oh, true. If but you don't a, know until you get there. Dude, no, you do. How do you know? Because you can look. Yeah. You can look and see. If it's a cop with someone pulled over, that's one thing. If it's smeared, you know, people all on the street, there's fire wreckage, yeah, you're going to slow down and take a little gander. Yeah. But uh, it's 99% of the time, it's a cop with someone pulled over, and everyone's got to stop and gawk. Or slow down at 30 miles an hour, think of the cops going to leave that situation and pull you over. Mm-hmm. Ah. Yeah, right. Move. Ah. I never, I never change my speed, and I nope. am Harry Honk. You've never Somebody seen... Somebody steps on the brakes when, and that? I do the same thing. I have punched my... I've drilled my fist into my seat. It was like a moment in Caligula. <laughs> I will just... I will fist the steering wheel until they're back up to speed. It's yeah. obnoxious. Right. Move. I, Beat I, it. No reason. And you see them looking. Yeah. You see their head turn. Whap. Little, and they're on the brakes, and they got to look. Little looky lose. So they could tell their family what they saw. You know Guess what? what I saw on my drive home. Beeping's for amateurs, man. You cut them off and try to run them off the road. Oh, that comes later. I could I could, I could, could get in front of a, a, a car going 60, 65 miles an hour with, like, maybe six inches of room tops. Yeah. From my back bumper and their front bumper. And, boy, they it's an attitude adjustment. They change their happy tune. When I'm driving down the expressway, there's a lot of times there's dump trucks. 
hauling sand. <laughs> I love those and, guys. And, <laughs> willy, all willy-nilly. They don't give dude, a crap. <laughs> a, a quarter mile behind these things, and you're in the sandstorm from the mummy. <laughs> it, you feel your car being pelted by rocks and then being sandblasted. A quarter mile behind the truck. Yeah. So I look I look way ahead and I see the truck. Yeah. And then I'll look at the people in the left lane yeah. just trailing the truck. Yeah. And go, why aren't you passing this effing thing as fast as you can? Right. To save your car some some yeah. things. So I then I just go maniac. Right lane, middle lane, I'm going around. And when I get to that person that's holding up the entire left lane from passing this truck, I cannot tell you how fast I cut in on him. And then I do my little trick also. I, I put my uh, driver's side wheels over the rumble strip to my left side <sighs> by the median, and all that dust, rock, and dirt ah, that collects in there flies, flies up and trick. smashes right into the car behind you. It's the best weapon on the road You know, is the rumble strip. I learned that trick from you. I Dude, love it. It's it works. I, I've done it a couple times since you've mentioned it on the show. It's beautiful. Your, your wheels yep. and, and just the air effects from your car will pull everything out of those pockets. It's beautiful. And throw it at the car behind you. <laughs> it's, it's fantastic. Can we it's go, a weapon. Can we go back to dump truck guy? I oh. love and hate the guy at the same time. Hate what he's doing, but love the fact that he has the biggest balls on the road. Doesn't, doesn't give care. a crap. He probably ruins hundreds of cars just yeah. trying to get his load from one just location leaving to the smashed other. Smashed windshields and 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 sandblasted hoods in his wake. He don't give a, a crap. He doesn't care. He doesn't look at you. You're passing him, and you're looking at him like, "Hey, ass, you're ruining my car." He's just, you know, he's down. He's just loving his music. Stuff. He don't care. He doesn't care. And the pebbles are big enough; they're just bouncing on the highway. You see them bouncing. <laughs> I love. You them. hear them? They're all over your vehicle. <laughs> tick to tick, 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 tick. <laughs> Sounds like a Geiger counter. <laughs> you're just trying to go to that christening, and then you're in the oh. middle of a sandstorm. It's like I got to get past this guy as quickly right. as possible, and people don't want to pass him. Let's go with uh, Jared in Boston. He might have the E Rock icing joke that oh. we're hoping for. Jared! <laughs> yeah, that's me. Uh, e Rock <laughs> uh, e -Rock had icing build up around his waist. Maybe. <laughs> but he got the Spuds Buckley down, so what can I tell you? Uh, you know what? Let's say hi to Mike in Delaware. Mike? I love this. Mike. Hello. Hey, Mike. Hey, did you hear about the story about the Islamic guy that chopped his wife's head off because she cheated on him? Did she cheat? I didn't know what the story was. This I is... knew it was a domestic violence thing. What happened? This is she, out of she, Buffalo, too, man. Would she turn her head and look at somebody? You yeah, cheated! Uh, she had a restraint order against him. She filed for a divorce and... I guess he didn't like that. Yeah, we got the story. It's out of Buffalo. Buffalo's uh, having a pretty good run lately. Wow. Okay, I, I don't want to change. Oh no, it's story. all. You know what? We start with a Buffalo story. We end this break with a Buffalo did, story. Did Thanks, Mike. Guy, I got the story right in front of me here. Didn't this guy also, by the way, um, have something to do with trying to make the Muslims look better? Their in, images, yeah. Their image look better. Right. <laughs> Good one. Good one, dude. Just do the exact thing that we all think they do. Right. This isn't going to help. The image. <laughs> it really isn't. Here's the story. It's out of Buffalo. <laughs> the, that didn't just happen, did it? No, what? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, the CD player did not screw up. Did, no, did, <laughs> da, da, it, did, it didn't just happen. It didn't happen. Is there how how cold is there icing on the CD player? Perhaps ice is building up on the leading well, edge of the disc. Well, there's going to be ice on the CD player when it goes flying out that window. <laughs> The owner of a the owner of a bus Thursday afternoon, and but she may, she repeated herself. All right, so maybe it was choice. two owners. You got a choice. Oh boy, yeah, the I, CD I bet, player oh, goes oh, today. Oh, that's the hip hop version. The owner. The owner. The owner. The the the, the owner. <laughs> CD player goes, or I throw uh, a baseball through the top loading VCR TV combo. Your choice. Your choice. Well, let's play your choice. The top loading VCR combo nobody would care about, and that wouldn't help our situation. We never use it. Where's my baseball? That thing's uh, being taken out today. We never use it, really. What? The 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 TV. All right. Not so, never use it, really. We just never use it. All right. It. Set it up for a fastball. How will that help our DVD yeah, uh, exactly. CD problem? Oh, this is my Babe Ruth baseball. Yeah, that's right. It's spelled it's spelled uh, B A B B. Baby, baby Ruth. <laughs> 
Let's try this again. Out of Buffalo. From the Sandlot? <laughs> the owner of a, the owner of a, the owner of a headquarters Thursday afternoon and told them his wife was dead. They found 38-year-old Hasia Hassan in the... <laughs> The owner of a the owner of a the owner of a meal. That's supposed to do that. The owner of a Buffalo area TV station. Oh, it worked that time. Yeah, it's like a remix. Yeah, but keep <laughs> moving boxes. That's what's important today. The owner of a the owner of a Buffalo area. Mike, we're having issues with the audio. The owner of a Buffalo area TV. Oh, it worked that time though. Seems like every other time. That's good. Uh, someone's asking who's burning these. Drew Boogie. <laughs> the owner of a the owner of a the owner of a didn't work that time though but every other time it works so let's see if it works this time the owner of a buffalo area worked that time wow though. so it's every other time every yeah other time it gives oh, us good. every other time tim <laughs> the owner of a buffalo area oh no TV. now the pattern's broken because it worked twice in a row yep. that time mm -hmm. all right we'll play for real buffalo islamic tv station owner oh <laughs> Oh, relax. Oh, relax. Relax. Oh, <laughs> very sound very peaceful. Oh, <laughs> very peaceful till that shattering glass happens oh. when that oh. player flies out the window. I forgot to tell you who I uh, saw at the uh, little, the little uh, getaway weekend I had. Ooh. Oh. How was the getaway weekend? It was uh, wonderful. Relaxing? Yeah, I took a picture of stillness and tranquility this weekend. Oh. Who are they? Radio DJs. I know. I the stillness and tranquility wow. show. Mornings. <laughs> yes. Mornings on Light <laughs> FM. Stillness and oh. tranquility. They stink. Tranquility's the hole. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And stillness is paralyzed. <laughs> 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 Very nice. It was nice, Jimmy. Jimmy goes there. I've been there twice. It's, it's nice. Cool, yeah. Uh, I gotta write this for Aunt and Jimmy. Uh, the one thing about our show, we we do reveal everything eventually. Yes. Because people get very frustrated by some of this inside stuff we do. It's like a soap opera, though. But um, I had a little getaway weekend. It was nice. A little. Oh wow! Really? I I know already. I can't. <clears throat> yeah, you're right. I think that's what? how you spell it. Did you say hello? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, good. What? <laughs> <laughs> did I spell it right? Why, yeah. why the confusion? <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. And we're both in robes. <laughs> it's really awkward for everybody. <laughs> I just pray to God you kept your mouth shut. <laughs> oh. Wow. Very bizarre. That's a yeah. biggie. Yeah. Yeah. Was it Wherever I went. What? Was it pleasant? Yeah, it was pleasant. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I hate that. All of a sudden, it's a blip on the radar, though. What do you mean? Bloop. It's like, oh, yeah, those guys. No, it's better than No, that. he was uh, He was very cool. Yeah? He was extremely cool. Couldn't have been nicer. Oh. Could have picked up my bill. I mean, come on. Oh, well. Do a lot for you. You should have picked oh. up his. That would have been better. Yeah. I was thinking what I could do for him. That I didn't know what, what I is. could do, though. Brown nose. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to be known as the brown nose. I would have picked up that bill in a second. Really? Depending on how many nights he was there for. <laughs> no kidding. Jim. I would have said, so how long are you here for? A week. Good luck to you. <laughs> how long are you here for? One night, in and out. Oh. Hourly rate? <laughs> Din -din's on me. Have a rub down on me. Oh. All right, let's try this again. Buffalo uh, story. The owner of a the owner of a with second to see now I wanted to play that time and I know, didn't. Did it again. That's just silly. Oh wait, the story's over though. What? We had four children together. All right, there you go. There's the story. We'll continue in just a bit. Opie and Anthony. <laughs> Opie and Anthony, we got Laszlo in studio. I just want to try this Buffalo story one more time. Then we're going to get to Laszlo and why he's here today. All right? I think right. we got this fig figured out. Big story out of Buffalo. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, oh no. Yes. no. Don't say it's not working again. Wow. This is now getting stupid. Yeah. Like, when it screws up once or twice, it's kind of funny, and you go like, oh, boy, oh. The... Now it's just, we can't play these clips. These... I know I, I know times are tough, but come on. Come on. Come on. 
We need a CD player to do our show. What are you doing? The owner of a Buffalo area TV station is accused of a shocking crime tonight, beheading his wife. Orchard Park police say 44-year-old Musamil Hassan walked into their headquarters Thursday shop. afternoon and told them his wife was dead. They found 38-year-old Hasia Hassan in the hallway of the American Islamic television station they ran together. Investigators say she had recently filed for divorce and took out an order of protection against her husband. He is now charged with second-degree murder. The couple had four children together. Wow. Yeah, there you go. He beheaded her. What Was she having an affair? I, why did that caller say she was having an affair? I, I don't know. Maybe they have more info. A little beheading oh. action. Danny? Oh, Danny, what's up? Well, I know, I know Ant said that as a joke when he said Hassan Shop, but Travis actually linked me to a story that was a, from a legitimate uh, you know, online news source, and the headline for their article was Hassan Shop. Well, <laughs> that was from uh, Bugs Bunny, if you remember. I know. With open sesame, open sarsaparilla. Open, yeah, and, and then it was Hassan with the big and then, sword, and all he'd do is go, Hassan, chop! And he was trying to chop him up. And, uh, they had uh, also the picture from uh, the article was the man and the wife, obviously, standing there or whatever. And the caption under it said, uh, you know, whatever his name is and whatever her name was, uh, in happier times, comma, before she was beheaded. <laughs> in, uh, with, was that necessary? Absolutely. Put, I didn't before, think the headline was necessary. You know, before she was be in happier times. Yeah. Well, it's, all, it's, it's human nature. It's almost like if you talk about Sam Kinison, you go, yeah, well, I met Kinison before he died. Everyone knows that <laughs> yes. before he died. Yeah, the before he died part. I would love to know what the statement was that she made that made threw him over the edge. Like, oh. all right, that's it. Off with the head. Maybe maybe she described what she gave to her new fella. <laughs> and he goes, oh, yeah? <laughs> Speaking of, take this. It's probably uh, something just silly. It probably was, you know. A little, not not that's, silly, but... That's an extreme act right there. Yeah. Hacking a head off. What do you do then after you're done? You're looking at it just going, ugh. Do you snap back like into Santa and you go, oh, maybe I went a little <laughs> overboard. Ah, oh, God, look at her head. It looks so silly. That one eye half shut. The other one open the mouth, kind of go. Uh. Ugh. Do you just blank out? You think heads just look silly when they're not on oh, bodies? Of course they do. That dumb face they put on. It's never a smile, and no. it's never an ironic look. No, <laughs> it's just always. Mm, uh. <laughs> Everything just gets droopy. Yeah, it's always one of primordial stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> it, it really is. It, it's like all that face can be going is. Er, der, der. There's nothing smart. Oh, that Bill's thing palsy head. <laughs> it looks no better than a Halloween mask. Yeah. Oh. Well, we could prop it up and have it do the countdown on New Year's Eve. <laughs> 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 hey, uh, uh, the movies for the weekend. Where's that? Where's that today? I saw two great movies uh, over the weekend. I saw uh, Valkyrie. How was Valkyrie? Ah, uh, they don't get Hitler. It's amazing. He lives for another nine months before he commits suicide. Did you know that? So you like the ending then? <laughs> yeah. Wait, so this yes, he kind of gives you away. hope. <laughs> so Valkyrie doesn't end with Hitler's uh, demise. Oh, no, why would it? It was an well, assassination just to, attempt. Just to wrap it up, nice, you know. Yeah. No, I understand that it was an assassination attempt, and we all yeah. understand how Hitler finally bought it. But you would think they would like at least wrap it up. Well, they did a little, you know, one of those little. Uh, uh, things at the end where they put the print on the screen and tell you what hate, happened. Hate the print Everything. on the screen at but the end. Why don't you show us? For some, how, for some reason, the copy I had, um, every time they were speaking German, uh, it came up as subtitled in Russian uh, on the bottom. So, <laughs> yeah. And then whenever it said what time it was and month and year, yeah. it was all in Russian. So I had a problem with that. But it, it wasn't that bad where I needed to know. you got to find a new guy. No, no, that was fine. It was very, like, I could figure it out after a while. You know, if you saw, you know, mm -hmm. 1944, yeah, I kind of know it's 1944. You know what would have been great, though, is if they just did something completely ridiculous. Like when they, they went through the whole thing and they made Hitler just, like, gay and very swishy. <laughs> it's like, who would really argue? Right. And they change the ending, <laughs> where he becomes he like he emigrates to America and becomes a cabaret dancer. Oh, mm. and catches Jimmy's, a venereal disease. <laughs> Jimmy's on to something because yeah, like uh, the Hitler's estate is going to have a problem with the depiction of yeah, the, the new depiction of Hitler. Come out and say, hey, hey, that's not right. You're making him look silly. Right. <laughs> he patents the buddy booth, the glory hall, <laughs> knee pads for oral. <laughs> The good, the good thing about the movie was uh, that they got into the whole rest of it because everybody knows there were a lot of assassination attempts on Hitler's life mm -hmm. over the years that he was uh, there um, doing his shenanigans. But 
the whole uh, Valkyrie thing where they actually tried to make it look like the SS had done it and seize power. Uh, because if they just kill Hitler, they know the next guy in line is just going to take over and, and do the same thing. So they were really just trying to end the Nazi rule of Germany. Who was trying, though? Uh, I got to play the dumb part. Uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, there was a whole conspiracy. There was a lot of people. They were trying to make it look like the SS, but who was actually trying to assassinate Hitler in uh, this it, film? It, it was a, a vast conspiracy of probably upwards of at least 50 people. Okay. Um, and and uh, Tom Cruise's character... Uh, was kind of one of the the head guys uh, involved, but uh, they had this plan all laid out. Hitler was supposed to die. They were supposed to initiate Operation Valkyrie, which was if Hitler died. Uh, these were the plans that would would follow. Um, but then they tried a coup uh, by arresting all the SS officers, and they started doing this because Tom Cruise saw the blast. He planted the bomb. Uh, hmm. And then, uh, oops, he wasn't dead. <laughs> so all those guys that said he was dead and were doing this and taking over this. They knew they were part of it. Oh, yeah, yeah. By the, At that point, they knew anybody that had been anything involved with, with Valkyrie. Anything to do with it, how to die. Uh, how, to, how to, yeah, get the Did old Did anything happen stuff. to Hitler in that? Oh, he, he got effed up. He got yeah. effed up? He, hearing in his ear, he started getting that shake in his hand. Um, oh, that, that was It was a miracle damage? that he, yeah. It, it, they were supposed to have the meeting in this concrete bunker with no windows, uh, and it would have just annihilated everybody in the room. Um, but it was too hot, so they went to this uh, kind of open-air um, wooden uh, huh. room with a lot of windows, a lot of wood, big, thick wooden table. So when the bomb was planted at the opposite end of the table that Hitler was at, pretty much, uh, there was so much to absorb the shock Wow. That he, he and a lot of people lived through it, um, but let me, let me if it was you, in the bunker. They all would have been dead. What? What? Uh, how did they get the bomb in? Like, was it? Uh, oh, it was amazing how they got it in. It was Tom Cruise's character. He uh, he had this uh, like plastic explosives, early version of plastic explosives. Oh, and he descended from the ceiling, right? Yes, he came down so from the awesome. ceiling and ding 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 ding. <laughs> he he shoved these the... detonators in there, and then th this. Uh, this detonation thing is pretty amazing for the time. They they crimp this end of the detonator and it releases acid, which eats through this wire that holds a firing pin back on a spring. And once the acid eats through the wire, the firing pin can go. So you don't know, depending on temperature of the room and everything, how much time you really got. Could be ten minutes. Could be twenty minutes. <laughs> wow. So how they did they put it in there with somebody? It was in a briefcase. Did, did somebody know? Was the whole briefcase a bomb, or was there other stuff in it too? Uh, yeah, it could be papers in there and stuff, but for the most part, it was just you know the bomb and the little leather briefcase. And he went in, put it next to the table like everybody else did. That was in this briefing. There were a lot of you know Nazis in there talking. Hitler was in there. And then uh, they put he put it by the table, and then he takes a phone call and has to leave the room. So he left the room, and uh, that was another reason they knew it was him after a while because he's just driving out of the place as all hell's breaking loose. Yeah. So it, it was it was a cool movie. Uh, you know, kind of I, I like watching that on the History Channel though. Watch the actual uh, stuff that they have, but it, it was cool. And then I watched. Um, what the hell was the other movie? Gran Torino. Gran Torino. Yeah. You like it? Yeah, it was pretty. good. I liked it a lot. Yeah. It, it, uh, like you said, the end was a little predictable. You knew where it was going, but, but it was kind of cool that they didn't go the route where you know, oh, look, Clint's gonna mm -hmm. you know, get a big shootout as he's ninety years old. When, when I'm the glad chick, they didn't do that. When the chick comes back after being like great, oh yeah, that just I, I was like deeply affected by that scene. Yes. Like, oh my god, I just loved his uh, racial epithets for Asians throughout the entire movie. Yeah, he's just pounding these people, and and even when he's trying to be nice. He's just, like, using inappropriate words. Yeah, he just doesn't know. <laughs> they weren't even in the script. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I love how he told Spike Lee to go screw. Yep. Oh, yeah. Did you see yeah. that bit? What do you mean? Uh, Spike Lee's been giving him oh. hell over uh, some kind of racial issue, and he basically, everybody else just sort of backs down, and he actually came out and told Spike to shove it. Spike's got to shut his mouth. He, Spike Lee got all over Quentin Tarantino, too, for using the N-word so much in Pulp Fiction and uh, Reservoir yeah. Dogs. Go screw yourself. People use it. And it was used very uh, uh, realistically in that movie. Sure, Spike used it in his movie, so it's yeah. like you can't complain yeah. because you, you're using Shut it as it. an artist. Stop bellyaching.
And then when he made uh, Malcolm X, he's saying, you know, because uh, I, I think there was a white uh, a producer director that wanted to do a movie about Malcolm X, and he came out and said, no, a black man has to do this movie uh-huh. in order to capture the true essence of blah, blah, shut up. Let's just have pure separatism, then, you douche, and have uh, white people's movies made by white people, black people's movies made by black people. Then again, when white people made black movies, let's be fair. They we, were fantastic. We had Superfly. And, uh, <laughs> wonderful. Those black exploitation <laughs> movies are classics now. I can kind of see the point on that one. <laughs> oh, I'll be here in a second. They didn't exactly make Dang proud age. movies. Look, Spielberg made uh, Amistad, right? Yes. Yeah, see? He did a good job of that, he right? That. Yeah. Just give me a break, Spike Lee. Hey, uh, Spike Lee not to make any white people movies. He can only get funding for his movies now from, like, weird sources overseas. He yeah. gets, like, German investors and stuff, because nobody in the States will give him any more dough. No, because he's a dummy. Mm. All right, we've seen enough of that technique you use. I'm, I'm sick of the people on the dolly making like they're walking, but they're rolling. <laughs> All right, I get it. It was interesting in uh, the first couple of times you did it. Oh, <laughs> exactly, oh, Jimmy. Geez. That's what I think what of Spike Lee's F? movies. Hey, speaking of movies, uh, guess what the number one movie at the box office was? Uh, Mall Cop? No. Uh, finally, no. Uh, Pink Panther 2? No, that's a dud, thank uh, God. Well, that's what I'm trying to... We're uh, very happy with the Pink Panther 2 being a disaster for Steve Martin. Hope but but they'll Steve make Martin's a third. Uh, they'll probably make a third, though. Not that make, I hope he's embarrassed and he feels the shame that he should have felt when he accepted the first one. I mm. feel the shame. He'll do yeah. an accent. And, Why don't you go out to your smug, dumb movie poster face? And uh, and and talk about why your movie bombed. Good, Fruit. Good to know that they didn't, uh, you know, buy into the Pink Panther movie, the yeah. movie going fast. Friday the Thirteenth, the remake. I hear that's pr- pretty good. Oh, that was number one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I hear yeah, the... that's a movie. You, that's a movie you can remake. That's, that's one you can remake. That's without. sort of where we're at. Yeah. Comedies, you really shouldn't remake them, especially if they were just huge successes. Jason was classic. What are you doing remaking? You know what? There's you probably know, people really out there that would say that, though, Lance. So, they you know, who, sh- who are we? <laughs> 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 They're, uh, who, who plays the new Jason? The old Jason? Did they get him? No, I'm <laughs> sure they just... They just they... And is it a remake or a retelling or a... Like is it is it uh, his mother again? Is it that whole Kent I think it's the lake thing? What's what's the difference? A retelling? They just make it a little different. A little different. Well, the thing is, in any Friday the Thirteenth, you're going to want to see Jason wreaking havoc. And if you remember, the first Friday the Thirteenth, Jason didn't kill anybody. A lot of people uh, forget that it was Jason's mother, Mrs. Voorhees. Who killed everybody? Ah, who, who could remember? But uh, yeah, Jason actually didn't kill anyone on the first Friday the Thirteenth. Well, this one's different because the 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 uh, the monster oh, is actually uh, it's Ted Voorhees. <laughs> <laughs> I would be silly. I can't see the, the yeah, hockey. Ball. I hate hockey. Do football. <laughs> football. <helmet. laughs> I'm afraid my teeth will be knocked out by a puck. <laughs> I was hitting the genitals with a hockey stick when I was a boy. <laughs> I hate hockey. <laughs> Uh, I don't yeah, know. So what's the story, uh, Danny? Do you know? You're yeah, usually... we're gonna... Steve's, I think, Up saw the movie. I we saw the movie. movie. Yes. Steve, what, what can you tell us about this? Uh, well, before the police walked in, <laughs> it was me and 900 <laughs> naked <laughs> men. Yes. Oh, I thought you meant my favorite thing to do on Friday the 13th. <laughs> hey, well, that was pretty much nice. it, so I'm just going to go. Um, oh, oh, great oh, improv. That improv that you all, thank you. <laughs> like, oh, yes. um, the Steve improv, improv or lack improv. thereof. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it was... Uh, it was basically they took the first four Friday the 13th movies and crammed them into one oh, movie. Oh, that's not... All right, that's a pretty good idea. The guy so. in the wheelchair got the machete in the head? There is a wheelchair reference, but no. There's ah, uh, a, most, of the, uh, scene. most of the deaths are uh, machete-based. First yeah. death uh, under the bed, the poker up through the chest? No. What the hell? It's a whole new doing? movie. It's, it, it is basically a whole movie, but in terms of the the lore, if you will, they yeah. they basically condensed the first four movies into... Mrs. Voorhees in there? Yes, she is. Does she kill anybody? Opening credits, she is... No, she's already gotten done killing everybody by the time the opening oh. credits roll. Yeah, hey. Does she go, kill them, mommy? Kill uh, them, mommy? Uh, oh, briefly. Saw Friday the 13th. Ke- oh, Kent the movie guy. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, let's go to Kent. Kent. Wow. Yes, he pretty hit it... Uh, Hit it pretty well on the on the head there. The, yes. the yes, I family. did the same thing Friday night in the meatpacking district. <laughs> I hit it right on the head. That's right with my tonsils. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, classic. But yeah, it is kind of like a condensed <laughs> book version of the first uh, three or four films. But that first, the first 20 minutes of it yeah. are brutally violent. Nice. Totally awesome. This, this Jason is so fat and such a badass. It's oh, really? really, really good. Not the lumbering the, Jason of old? No, all of a sudden he'll, you know how like they would do the gimmick of they're running and you don't see him really running? This yeah. guy will all of a sudden be on the roof of the house from the ground out of nowhere, See, like really fast. I heard the difference with this one was this Jason kills you with kindness. <laughs> <laughs> Get more flies with sugar. You sure do. <laughs> than you do with a machete and a mask and a rotting face. <laughs> more flies with sugar than you do with a mother who's doing the worst crazy lady acting in movie history. Oh, that was horrible. It was terrible. What, what, what an awful sweater for a murdering woman. Yeah, I know. That stupid big woolly sweater. <laughs> Kent, I hear the first 20 minutes good, and then it gets boring, though? And it's, a lot of people saying it was forgettable. It was it was just okay after the first 20 minutes. It turns into a love story. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Jason meets a girl, but he's from the other side of the tracks because he's dead. And uh, her parents want her to marry someone who's alive and doesn't murder people with a machete for no reason. Turns into a chick flick. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that would suck. Matthew McConaughey steals Jason's girl. Uh, enough with him. He loves him for the man he is on the inside. The poster is McConaughey and Jason back to back. Looking over each other's shoulder, like, "Hey, you! Yeah. And, I'm getting this girl." And they're Not fighting you. over. They're fighting over. What's her name? Oh God, damn it! Who is? I almost said Sandra. Jennifer Bernhard. Aniston. Yeah, they're fighting over her severed body parts. <laughs> Switches from that he's creepy. Got, he's got roses. Jason's got the machete. <laughs> <laughs> Switches from that creepy music to Coldplay. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> right. Now that's a movie. She's a size queen, and Jason's really packing. Of course he is. You know he is. But she doesn't realize that that big bulge is just worms and leaves. <laughs> 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 and a rotted tree branch. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, Ken, so what do you give the movie? Is it worth seeing or what? Um, I would see it for a matinee. Uh, it, it, you want to go on the weekend with a, with a packed theater, definitely. Who the hell but, uh, wants I, to do that? Well, sometimes people want that community of uh, horror movie, like, oh! Yeah, so it's one of those films that, uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> if it's not uh, good enough to see by yourself in your house, I don't want to be bothered. I yeah. would see with a bunch of people, a bunch of beers, you know, Anthony's Home Theater. A bunch of beards? <laughs> That's right. That means all the gr girlfriends who never have sex with their boyfriends are in the other room. Exactly. Yes. yes all right, Ken. Thank you. I guess it's yeah. uh, it's okay. I, I don't I don't know what to take from his phone call. Uh, sounds uh, hey. All right. A movie that Sam saw this weekend. Talking to, about chick flicks. Where is oh, Sam? That's it. Don't let her get away, mommy. Don't let her oh. live. That's how awful she is. I won't. Why does she talk more like a woman when she's being the boy? I won't, Jason. I won't. I won't. <laughs> Sam, Sam saw the uh, runner-up movie of the weekend. Yes, I did. What was it? He's just not that into you. <laughs> <laughs> gee. Sam, you do know you could say no. You are the gee. You know what? Valentine's Day. Yeah, but my girl went by herself. She knew it did not even to ask me that I, I would I would hate that. It was his idea. And actually, she she yeah right. And she didn't like it at all. She thought it was stupid. Really? You went for Valentine's Day? Yes. It was a nice Valentine's Day afternoon movie. You like it? No. Did I you? mean, it was it was. You every liked movie. it, right? It a couple was, laughs. Yeah. I mean, it had its parts. What was the movie about? Yeah, the credits. Well. <laughs> It was about some of the trials and tribulations uh, that people get into trying to get into relationships. You know, uh, like uh, twenty somethings and people in their late twenty somethings kind of getting into the dating game and meeting the one. I'm yeah. talking about Mr. Right, not Mr. Right now. You know <laughs> what I mean? That would have been a great combination with Friday the Thirteenth. He's just not that into you. How do you know? Well, he skewered me with a shish. He skewered me with a machete through my stomach, and he stepped on my innards. Oh, that would be a no on the date. That would be a yeah. All right, now why did you go to this Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day. You got to do some nice stuff. No, no, no. You got to do stuff that both of you enjoy. Yeah, that's what. Uh, thank you. 
It's a couple. Yeah. It's a day for couples, so yes. you've got to figure out something that you both are going to enjoy. Exactly. Make sexy time. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, go bowling or something, Sam. What are you doing? I make her see a lot of movies for me. Like yeah. what? Like all like horror movies. Horror movies. Horror, horror, movies. horror, horror, horror movies. movies. Nice. Horror. What horror? horror people wear like? costumes. <laughs> costumes. Did they say costumes? Costumes. 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 <laughs> But there were no costumes, and she's just not that into you. She's just not that into you. Or he's so how did, was it a story? You. Was it just a documentary? What no, the hell is this crap? It's a narrative piece. A narrative piece. And it piece. was a cast of who's who. Oh, it really was. Every yeah, time everybody. turned your head, another Hollywood A-lister. Wow, just, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like Ben Affleck and Jen Aniston together, finally. Oh. No way. Oh, yeah. We've all been waiting for that, right, Sam? Yeah. And well, and what 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 happened there? I... But what's really fun is like... Nothing? Because you get to see all these relationships building and the way all these characters intertwine in each other's lives. It's like Lost. Just like Lost. <laughs> <laughs> Only not interesting at all. Yes. No, it wasn't necessarily interesting. Were you sitting there just going, oh, my God, this sucks. I'm doing this for my chick, and this sucks, and just looking around at other guys that are saying, oh, this sucks? The worst part was that there were so many women in the theater yeah. that there was the collective, every 15 minutes, the collective, oh, oh! God. <laughs> wow. I hope when that happened, it was, they were showing chimp footage of the old lady's <laughs> eyes getting gouged out. Oh. oh. How great would it be in the Huge. middle of that movie if that's just what happened? Like, the date was going Aww. kind of wrong, and they stumbled on a chimp murdering an old woman, <laughs> biting her face, and then they just cut away. Uh, from men and women just think so effing differently. How do we get along at all? Yeah, I didn't have any necessarily yeah. emotional... Did you even have a uh, an inkling of going, oh, along with the women? No, I was just Knowing like, that they're human beings like yourself. Oh, of course that happened. It's very predictable. Yeah. How how much did you hate it? It was just exactly as I expected it would be. It was exactly as anyone would expect. Did it she at be. least give up the you know because it's Valentine's Day and you took her to the movie? Give up the what? You know you don't have to worry about a baby after. Yeah, the special place. Did oh, she give that up for you? Why well, didn't ask? Just take it. That's it what a boy. It was perfect. It was a uh, perfect opportunity to ask. I should have Valentine's Day. You go and do what she wants, and then you get you know the forbidden oh. uh, place. Danny just held up a sign explaining what you were talking about. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Danny. No, that didn't necessarily happen either. Where the poop comes out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. With that description, who would ever want to? Uh, yeah. You know? We try to sex it up, but let's be honest. It's exactly what Jimmy just said. All right. Thanks, Sam. And then uh, the third movie is this movie that Jimmy hated. That people are just loving because it's the third week in the top five. Taken, doing well again. Stunk. Wow, still. Taken, that Liam Neeson. Stunk. Another $22 million for Taken. People are loving this movie, Jimmy. It's, it's, people are just dummies. Oh, it's, it's a terrible tight. movie. I saw it. Stunk. The but acting I, was awful. The girl runs like a retard. He has stupid soy sauce hair, and the story is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but I, he shows up at the karaoke machine, and she gets a uh, pony and runs like a retard to it. <laughs> but I saw it, and I enjoyed it. It was awful. If you watched it again, you'd understand how awful it was. Well, that, all that stuff was definitely bad. The, uh, the action sequences were amazing. Ooh. They didn't hold back. This what? is nice. Let me just finish. Just, talk, just chatting with Lauren from Hannity. You're going, you're going to go on Hannity? Thanks. I'll let you know. Well, see, it's um, I pick a day in uh, April. Nice. And uh, I'll go on. Uh, <laughs> I'll go on Sean Hannity, uh, Sean Hannity show. That just make sure it doesn't conflict with my date in May. Oh, well, maybe we could do it together. <laughs> I'm sure he would never allow that. <laughs> By the way, Sirius XM Radio and Liberty Media reach an agreement for investment. First phase includes $280 million, mm -hmm. uh, a loan from Liberty. So uh, Liberty is loaning Sirius a lot of money to save, uh, to save them from bankruptcy. Good. They will not enter into bankruptcy. Excellent. They will uh, receive um, a lot of shares. And uh, let's see, Liberty will receive seats on Sirius XM Board of Directors proportionate to its equity ownership, uh, of which should be quite a bit. So 
It looks like uh, Sirius XM dodging the old bankruptcy bullet. Good. As we speak uh, in pre-trade, and yeah, we're looking at 22 cents. Mother effer. Wow. Rock and roll. It hasn't been 22 cents for a while. I bought 100,000 shares at six cents. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Rock. Let it ride. Let it ride. I'm not selling. You should sell, dude. No. Sell. I'm pretty- why, why not sell at 24 cents? It's the green. Why not sell it? Here it is. When it's at two cents, I'll be going, oh, <laughs> why did I? <laughs> that thing will go up a bit. All right. Hey, Lazlo's just been sitting there. Well, we're going to get into the Grand Theft Auto thing after the break. Very excited. Home theater to pay for. <laughs> <laughs> Let it ride. <laughs> Very excited about the uh, the Grand Theft Auto news. And we'll talk to Lazlo next. We were doing movies here, so let's uh, start our Oscar moments. No. Less than a week from the Oscars. We like doing this every year. Check this out. Nominated for 13 Academy Awards, including performance by an actor in a leading role, directing, original score, and best picture. The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Dancers don't need costumes or scenery. I could imagine dancing completely naked. Have you read D.H. Lawrence? His books were banned. The words are like making love. In our group, you have to trust people, not be afraid. Sex is a big part of it. A lot of dancers are lesbians. A woman wanted me to sleep with her. Does that upset you? People should want to sleep with you. You are very desirable. Let's go back to the house or get a room somewhere. We can put down your coat. It's not that I don't want to. I just can't. Not tonight. I'm old enough. It's just not. Do you think you're too old for me? I've been with older men. Go back to New York, Daisy. Be with the people you are so fond of. You can only be young once. Stay tuned for more Oscar Moments, presented by The Opie and Anthony Show. Ah. You're checking out Opie and Tony the Insider. Well, me and Laz just talking about uh, Guinness on tap. A couple men talking about uh, beer on tap in the You're house. talking about beer on tap. Oh, you got the beer house. on tap? I've had beer on tap in my kitchen for about four or five years. Nice. That's kind of what got me thinking, because uh, I'm having a bar put in uh, my house, and I was like, you know something? Guinness on tap. Laszlo's got it. Why shouldn't I? It is the greatest, because instead of opening... A bottle of beer, you go up and you go, I'm going to have a half a beer. And then you have another half beer. And you do that 20 times throughout the evening. Yeah. And it's always nice and fresh, old. Do you put the little shamrock in the foam? No. Are you good like that? (laughs) No, I don't have time for that crap. I'm drinking. (laughs) I can't be bothered with the cute shamrock. (laughs) Just give me the beer. Well, Laszlo's here because uh, Grand Theft Auto's got what? What? What, what, what is? What is this called? It's a. Uh... It's Grand Theft Auto for the Lost and Damned. It's the first yeah. episode, so it's sort of an, an add-on mission pack that you can download on Xbox Live. So people that bought uh, Grand Theft Auto Four can now download this. It's a whole new game. It's set in Liberty City, where Grand Theft Auto Four was set. Uh, but you have new characters. The so sto- it's more than a mission pack because sometimes when you hear mission pack, you're thinking, ah. But this uh, turns out to be a whole nother game. Yeah, it's all new radio. There's wow. like almost a, a hundred new uh, tracks that we licensed for it. Oh. Um, Iggy Pop did some more work uh, for the radio station he's on, as well as um, Juliet Lewis. We produce new TV shows because you know you go into the safe house, you can watch TV. We did a new. A uh, cartoon for Republican Space Rangers because that one was so well received in the last game. Wow, that cop just flew through the windshield. Oh, Holy God. crap, was that good? And in this one, our good friend Bill Burr is a biker in your gang. Oh, really? Yeah, he's constantly talking about banging Russian broads. Yeah, does he talk about conspiracy theories? <laughs> That <laughs> lunatic. <laughs> Dude, what, what happened to him? Like, I get together with him now, and I'm like, you are a conspiracy website. He's a nut. He's well-informed, that yeah. Bill Burr. Yeah, he's a, he's a pisser, man. Yeah. He but really he, is. He plays a character called Jason in the gang. That's uh, You're in this gang called The Lost, and he's one of your gang members. So, and there's a bunch of new motorcycles, new weapons. They redid a lot of the physics for the motorcycles. Uh-huh. So, and our research team did research into motorcycle gangs. Uh, there's three gangs in here, but I was actually surprised that 
you, know, you think motorcycle gangs are something out of the 70s, but they're still around. Of course they are. They have, like, shootouts on Long Island. Do you remember that? When oh, they, yeah, I remember they the uh, Pagans yeah. and Hells Angels were at each other all the time. Over the it was at that club that we meth. did a couple of gigs at. At the Vanderbilt. The yeah, 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 that's what yeah, it was called. Yeah, it was a stabbing. We did a bunch of gigs there. Um, now, Laszlo, uh, am I crazy to say that the graphics look even better? They, Is that possible? Because they, they really do look better. They refined mm -hmm. uh, some of the graphics. It looks a lot grittier. In Grand Theft Auto Four, you show up in this fictional world of Liberty City as an immigrant from uh, Eastern Europe. Yeah. Well, in this one... You're a, a biker, and so we sort of made Liberty City feel even more gritty and more lived in. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. So the graphics have changed. It's great. Yeah, it, it just looks amazing. Watching a motorcycle right now under a bridge, and uh, she's weaving in and out of uh, traffic, oncoming traffic. It's so great. Yeah, it's, you're you're on the wrong side of the road, sir. Buster. I believe you're breaking the law. That was a red light, sir. My God, are you breaking the law? There's also a really nice shotgun in the game now, like a double barrel shotgun. And there's, oh, yeah? there's pipe bombs that you can toss off the motorcycle. <laughs> it's quite nice. <laughs> pipe bombs. Well, it's one of my favorite things when you're getting chased is just to drop a pipe bomb. And see what happens. And then turn around and watch it blow up. More Any, importantly, um, Laszlo, where's the motorcycle jumps? Oh, is Street there, Sweeper. Is there more motorcycle jumps in this oh, yes. game? A lot can, more motorcycle jumps. Can, can you just merge off this road whenever you want to? <laughs> oh, oh, some poor innocent bystander was in the way, I think. They fall like real dead people, too, where their arms yeah. and everything go that askew. That ragdoll physics yeah. stuff is amazing. Yeah, stuff. where it actually assigns a skeletal structure to the to the character. Yeah, they fall like they would if they were standing there in certain positions. It, it looks more realistic than... They used to just kind of fall down and then disappear. It would, yeah, it would just fire a stock animation. But yeah, now when yeah. you shoot somebody and they sort of fall over a ledge... Their body actually ragdolls like yeah. a real body would. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> any um, any use of uh, any device to set people on fire? I don't believe there's a flamethrower in this one. Is there, Hugh? No. Nothing like that. Why? What happened with the flamethrower? Right. Maybe that'll be in the next, All right. next episode. It could happen. Just asking, because I, I was playing a game recently that, um, you know, not to get into other games. I know you're here to promote this game, uh, which I love anything in the GTA series, believe me. But... Um, I've been uh, playing a game where I love throwing Molotov cocktails at people and then shooting them. <laughs> it's called the old insult to injury. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's Molotov cocktails in GTA 4. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so you, yep. you can set people on fire. And that uh, way. the cars. You could kind of use the cars as bombs, too. I've done that where you uh, wreck a car to the point where it's ready to explode. You pull near your enemy and run away <laughs> and just let the car explode, and they fly all over the place. It's fantastic. <laughs> Uh, when is Laszlo coming out with Chateau Cumia? Until the last breath, where Ant defends his estate against undesirables. Oh, that'd be a that's great mission. From Bayshore. You could play a Mexican that's trying to get in the door yeah. <laughs> in a home invasion. You see that I, last week? The I, home invasion that they caught on tape? I do believe the Grand Theft, uh, the Grand Theft Auto series is based in uh, fictitious worlds. Ah. So to have uh, something like that so true to fact yeah. and realism would probably uh, be something uh, different. Me defending my home. That would be great. I have a great picture um, that I took uh, this uh, weekend. There it is. Um, maybe you could pop that up on your uh, Twitter or something. This was uh, me on my way to the range yesterday. Because uh, we were off for President's Day. I was very happy. Me and a couple of uh, officers of the law decided we were going to go and do some shooting. Nice. And we get to the range. It was closed. So what did you do? Shoot signs on the side of the road? You know something? You're with cops. What the you're, hell? You're loaded for bear. And, and you go to the range and there's no range open. And there's nothing to shoot. Why were they and closed on President's Day? Exactly. Exactly. It's just a holiday. It's a day that everybody's supposed to be off. And then Nassau County made you buy a recreation pass. What is that? It's a tax on recreation is pretty much what it is. You have to go in and buy this Nassau County recreation pass now to get onto any golf course, any recreational what? thing that NASA is in Nassau County. You have to pay 20 bucks and get your recreation pass. And that includes shooting ranges or, or anything. What? Why? To try to raise money. And they're still crying poverty. Uh, what are so, they talking about? So if you want to play golf, you've got to pay 20 bucks before you even get 20 bucks to get this card before you even start. You're not even allowed on the goddamn golf course without it. So what if you go golf show course. What if you show up, you don't have that? Can you get one there? Get one on the spot. That's what I had to do at the range. I had to go that, there, and they take your picture. How much you get money do you want from our pocket? It's exactly what it is. It's a, it's a leisure pass. I, I call it a leisure tax because it's just what it is. They're taxing you. 
uh, to use the facilities that you're paying for anyway. What's the point of that, right? Yeah. If you're already going to pay for uh, your golf or Amazing. your shooting or whatnot. And these are people with guns. And you got to pay to get <laughs> into parks taxing. anyway. Yeah. So besides the parking fee to get into just a regular park for exactly. a picnic, you need another $20 leisure pass before you even pay you the pay. fee to get into the park. What is yep. it, Monopoly, a leisure pass? What leisure the fuck are they pass. doing? I know. Tell me about it. <laughs> it is. A leisure pass. But I... Um, <laughs> I wound up getting my uh, my shoulder hol holster for the Desert Eagle. Yeah, this thing, it's a shoulder holster that no, even with a long shirt, the muzzle still comes out of the bottom of my shirt. <laughs> it's, and I have this thing tucked under my arm, and the thing just hangs down. It is a giant weapon. And do you do you put it in the holster, and then you get in the car, and you maybe stop at the gas station. And you yeah, have this thing on if, you? If, if I'm on the right way to the range, yeah. If I got to go gas or, you know, stop off. So at it's the, legal uh, for you to just have store. a concealed weapon? It's a concealed carry permit, yeah. You're allowed to do that. See, the size of this gun is retarded. I would never use that as a carry weapon. This is ridiculous. I, but I was on my way to the range, so, you know, I, I was going to shoot that, and I, I wanted to have it on me. Um, but then, God, when that's closed, it was just like, ah, I want to shoot something. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, I was so mad. I might go today after uh, after work. Oh. Yeah. For it's, people that think that it's a bit that it. everything in this that place nice? is busted, this TV is so busted, dude. Oh, that TV's busted. That's old and busted. Why? What's up with it the It just TV? shuts off. I know. It's, it's an enormous 80-inch yeah. flat screen that just... Oh, so you're in radio. You know what's oh. going on. The whole thing is slowly rotting. It is crumbling. And we're going to just do our show until these mics don't work anymore. You're going to be doing the show out of Ant's basement. All right. Yeah, it'll be better facility. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Yeah. More modern, up-to-date equipment that works. <laughs> this flat screen uh, is goes in and out, and they're like, we don't have the money to fix it. So that we just have to deal with that. we got CD players that don't work. You know, whatever. This is the same board Howard used years ago. It's wood. <laughs> it is. It's yeah, made out of wood. Wood. For some reason... Does anyone have uh, uh, tech stuff at home that is made of wood? No. No. For the most part, no. For some we reason, do here. wood in radio stations was like a very big thing for a while. It was kind of cool to have like wooden stuff around. But stop it already. Right. Let's use space-age polymers. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right. Uh, Lazo, the game looks great. Yeah. Absolutely. We're going to download this one. Yeah, this is a cutscene that crosses over into the main storyline from GTA 4. So you do actually interact with some of the characters from the main game, and you get to see the other side of things that weren't exactly explained in the main game. Yeah. Good for the uh, Xbox Elite. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so it went on sale uh, Xbox Live this morning at 12.01 a.m. What about the nice. PS3, though? Uh, it's Xbox exclusive. Oh. <laughs> oh. You cannot play it. A I boo. can't play it. A boo. What? A Look, everyone knows Xbox is the platform. A boo. Uh -huh. If you're if you're if you're still drooling and teething, I would get a Wii. How am I going to shoot a 44 uh, on Tiger I'm... Woods Golf with the, with the Xbox? I don't know. How to, I don't know how to work their controls. It's control console controls are all the same. I, no, I got the PS3 <laughs> and I got it down to a science, my friend. Do you? I can't switch over to the Xbox. Never. Get one of those. Different controllers. Abu Xbox. When does it come out on PS3? I know you're hearing that like crazy. What, Why this, can't you guys put these games out on? Look for at this. Everybody? F U Laszlo. See, and they weren't even so using angry. The See, it's not. They actually spelt it out the bad words and everything. Why are you going like you? Why are you go exclusive? Because Laszlo decided right. to put it just on Xbox. He's Why, the one who made the decision. Why would you do that, Laszlo? <laughs> That's not nice. People think it's up to to me, yeah. or Rockstar. Microsoft came forward and said, please develop us an excellent mission pack on top of GTA 4. An Here's episode. a boatload of money. Here's some development money. Yeah. And we said, thank you, Microsoft. <laughs> and we went and made an amazing game. Yeah. And Microsoft wouldn't be in the business of going, and make it for our competitor, too. Even though they're not throwing in the money, we'll throw it all in. Make it for our competitor. So you understand why it's only on the wonderfulness that is Xbox, by yeah. the way. And for years... Our games were exclusive to Sony. I mean, yeah. the number one selling games on the PlayStation 2 are Grand Theft Auto games. Yep. So, hey, what are you going to do? Laszlo's got to decide. He makes the decision. 
You want to give out your email address so people can pitch directly to you, Laszlo? I well, yeah, it's Laszlo at Laszlo dot com. So now I'm going to have to get an wow. Xbox. This is this is why I get the Xbox. The reality of the situation. I love the Grand Theft these Auto days. Games. There's amazing games for the PlayStation Three. Yeah, and th that you can't get on Xbox. Uh, it's the reality is you just got to buy both platforms. I know it sucks. You're at but that point now where yes, yeah, sorry, you really do have to buy both platforms. Do you have both? Yes. I have two Xboxes. <laughs> one upstairs, so, one downstairs. So give me one, and I'll give you my no, PS3. No, I need oh. one for the big theater. You know what this game? You know what this game is going to look like on an eleven foot wide screen? It's going to rock. <laughs> it's going like? to be a blast. It'll look all right. It'll be, it'll be a lot of fun, I believe. Want to be pixelated? No, no. It'll look fantastic. It's high def, man. High def. All right, we got to go to break. We'll do a little uh, mopping up today. We got Laszlo. So, Laszlo, the big plug Grand Theft Auto 4 for the Xbox, Lost and Damned. Yeah, the Lost Mission and Damned. Pack. But, it, but it's a whole Live. new game. Yeah. You can yeah. Uh, you can get your code to download it from Xbox Live at GameStop or Amazon or just go mm -hmm. to Xbox Live straight out and buy it there. That's where I do my shopping. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Twitter a screen cap, even though it's available to everyone today, but what the hell? I'll uh, throw a little screen cap at everybody. Also, there's new comedy in the game. You know, when you go to the comedy club and you can see Ricky Gervais, we've got uh, this new comedian uh, that I, well, I'd never heard of him, Frankie Boyle. You've ever heard of him? Is he fun? Jimmy. Jimmy. Frankie Funny guy, Frankie, Frankie Boyle. Boyle. He is, he's a Scottish comedian. It he has is, to be good. Hysterical. You, wouldn't, you wouldn't use a hack, so he has to be good. That's so funny that you can just go into the comedy club and watch a comedian. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> and then, like, you start shooting. <laughs> <laughs> you shoot the comedian? No, I don't think you can. Why oh, oh, wouldn't you on. have that? That'd be good. I want to do that. Where they I get probably shot. frowned on that. It's like, well, yeah. Yeah. unless it's Voss. <laughs> Great. So people yell Frunkus and shoot you in the face. <laughs> yeah, it's just like the game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll mop up next. Opie and Anthony. Oh, Black History Month. We got today's honoree. Oh. Want to hear this? To celebrate Black History Month, the Opie and Anthony Show is recognizing those historic African Americans without whom this country would not be the melting pot it is today. Today we honor Kamala, the Ugandan giant, the lumbering body painted cannibal who rose up from the bushes of the African wilderness to become a force in the world of professional wrestling and forever change our views of the dark continent, not only with his wrestling skill, but with his activism and public speaking prowess. <laughs> Truer words were never spoken. Kamala, you are a scholar and an inspiration to us all. Stay tuned for more icons of black history on The Opie and Anthony Show. Wow, we're just checking out the game. It's amazing, Laszlo. Grand Theft Auto, Lost and Damned. Facial expressions. It's ridiculous. There's a gritty uh, motorcycle yeah. guys. And then there was some bitch in the club that we were just uh, looking in. She was pretty hot. I didn't see her. Yeah, there's, a, there's a stripper pole in the club. And yeah. Occasionally she'll hop on that when she's not in your lap. Nice. The, the detail, though, is just ridiculous. I feel like I know these guys. Yeah, <laughs> like right? Like I've seen them before. Oh, yeah, well, we, oh damn. Oh, a shootout. What oh, we do in mocap now, it's this whole new setup. They have a camera that's strapped to their head while they're doing the motion capture in those black suits with the ping pong balls. Uh -huh. And the camera is grabbing their facial expression. So every time their eyebrow goes up, the char their <laughs> character's eyebrow goes up. It's really intense. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, this company Image Metrics we work with does all the facial, <laughs> and it, it's amazing the facial expressions and on the characters in these games now. Sorry, mm -hmm. I'm just laughing at the uh, intern's job. <laughs> His job is to Fonzarelli the broken ass yeah. plasma. It, every time the <laughs> stupid big plasma TV power supply goes on the fritz, he's got to push the button and turn the TV back on. So he's just been standing there pushing the button, just getting it ba uh, back on. Yeah. You got to have a double barrel goes. shotgun that you shoot off the front of the uh, bike. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Rock and roll. Someone will get hurt that way. <laughs> this is very dangerous. All right, we got to get out of here. Uh, Jimmy, you got something? Yes, I got my uh, gig this uh, Saturday. Tower Theater in Upper Derby with Artie Lang. Uh, tickets are on sale at LiveNation.com. It is uh, it's one show. It's this Saturday, February 21st. Upper Derby? Yes. All right. And the uh, Grand Theft Auto game on Xbox today. Yep, Xbox Live. And I've got some stuff from the game. Ooh. It's a little too dirty. All right, we'll so we'll, the other side. Oh, yeah. So we'll play some of that uh, on the other side. Yes, we will. The other side was just bailed out by Liberty Media, so I think we got uh, gigs. Yeah, nice to know. But, uh, we'll see what happens, huh? Huh? Right, we'll see. <laughs> Always something. All right, guys, we got to get out of here. Music marathon time. What song are we starting with? Uh, let's see. And is it um, part of a twofer? <laughs> I need to know if it's part of a twofer. 
It Lazlo, does. they're doing twofers over here. Twofers. Nice, right? Why not? We got a twofer? Why not? No, it doesn't look like a twofer. <laughs> what is uh, it? The, but the song that you will be hearing is U2 with New Year's Day. We play Red Hill Mining Town, or will what? they lose their minds? They'll lose their minds. They will, right? Didn't test well. So let's play it. Who gives a crap if it didn't <laughs> test well? I don't know. Are we allowed to play it? Um, Stump Brain? Is that going to cause The focus problems? group doesn't like it. <laughs> yes. Oh, just play what they want. The demographic would prefer... Just do New Year's Day, even though it's February. 18 to 34. <laughs> yeah. Just blurt out demographics. No 25 to 59. It'll affect our cue. <laughs> our time spent listening is destroyed. You just effed with our TSL. <laughs> what about the average quarter hour? You just messed up the average quarter hour. There's people meters vibrating everywhere. <laughs> the wrong song. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Laszlo. Sure. New Year's uh, Day. What the hell? Just play what they yeah. have scheduled. Scheduled. We'll see you tomorrow. Rock and roll. <laughs> Laszlo made the walk. Opie and Anthony continuing with rumors flying everywhere. What? Rumors, rumors, rumors. There's uh, a lot of rumors in the radio world these days. Why is that? We'll keep it at that for now, but then we'll uh, we'll have to address it eventually. Say it's constant. What is constant? Constant rumors? Yeah, constant like drama in this business. Yeah. Everyone's uh, just, blah, 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 blah. Just kind of got to live your life and just uh, go with it. Exactly. That's what I say. Hey, did the boys do the right thing and play the unedited version of uh, Christian Bale over here today? So they got to hear all the fucks and shits no. and stuff? They, no? What happened? Oh, you did? Oh, yeah, we did. You were able to do that, Butcher? Thank you. Yes, I took care of it. All right. Uh, you better not let Jimmy see you on that board. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. There'll be problems. That'll be a problem. Hey, uh, everyone's talking what? about Shauna Lene, Lene, whatever. That bitch. Wow. We were uh, on our best behavior on Friday, but uh, wow. Uh, where do we begin? Because she ended up making a, a, uh, a little video for everybody. Just making herself uh, look stupid. She's even more stupid. Uh, she she was in here. Um, when was that? Friday. Friday with Taya Parker. Friday. Taya, uh, a big star of that uh, rock bus thing that Brett Michaels is doing. Apparently. She's good on it too. I was watching an episode. She She's does actually good. very good. She yeah. does very good. Well, she big brought star. in. Uh, she was in with this other girl who's uh, on the cover of the Penthouse. latest issue of Penthouse. 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 Issue of Penthouse. And she was also the runner-up for Pet of the Year. Yeah. Taya ended up winning that. Yeah, yeah. She was a runner up. Very cute girl. Um but she I hates guess the she word cute. Well, whatever. She, she's twenty what? Twenty one. Twenty one. Well blondish hair. A uh, very girl next door, cute looking, great uh rack on her. She's the, the hot girl. Really hot. And uh she comes in. And like every girl that's in Penthouse or that's done adult movies, things like that, we talk to them about it. So we started asking her questions about what she's done. Does she do DP? Does she do fucking, you know, gang bangs, things like that? And I noticed she's really getting put off by these questions. Mm -hmm. And the more we ask uh, and the more graphic the questions get, I'm noticing uh, her eyes are welling up a bit. Yeah. And um, that's and when that's when Danny <laughs> and Travis actually found a picture and and put it up on there of her just sucking a giant cock like 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 she couldn't have more cock in her mouth. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> if she oh, wanted, they had to shoehorn cock into yeah. her mouth. Right, right. right. Yeah. It, Find it, the one we. Sh that, well, that, yeah. that was the one. That's the one that, that, the the one one that put, put her over the top. No, that's the one that put her over the top. That's we, the one. You yeah, know, we'll get to that picture eventually. She knows Daddy <laughs> doesn't like that one. Right, but uh, we found one where she was just stuffed. Her mouth was just stuffed with a. Oh, yeah. Look, look at this last one. The tears she in her is. eyes. Tears in her eyes, I guess. Right. She tries to suck off this cock. <laughs> right. uh, she she saw that and was like, "Take that off. Take that down. Don't, I don't want to see that." And then. We're just asking her, like, well, you did that. It's it's part of what you still do. She goes, yeah, but I'm focusing on my penthouse thing. That's why I'm here to promote that. Uh, what we talk about, though, is what you've done. You're, you you do 
adult films. That's, Let's and, talk and about listening it. to when she was on, what did she expect you guys to talk to her about? I the know. economic bailout? Right. I mean, yeah, we, apparently. We, we want to talk about cocks in your mouth. Right? Yes. We won't even be a nasty Jim. to her. She was just being a, <laughs> she was just being a fucking baby. Um, and she was being aggravating and fucking that self-centered, attention-seeking shit, and it was really and, annoying. And, and is Penthouse that far off from doing adult films? No, I actually. I felt mean, Playboy, bad you would almost bit. almost go okay because they really try to do more of an artsy, airbrush thing. Yeah. Penthouse, they're still like you know stretching out the pink and all sorts of things. <laughs> but dude, she had a porn here. That one of the movies. <laughs> Was, was a from porn. penthouse, right. right? From penthouse, like a, she had sort of a penthouse porn that she is promoting as well. So then, when we start feeling that she was just being a dick, that now we're like, you know, fuck it. Now you got to cry. I'm sorry. It's it's just yeah. It's just in our uh, DNA. So then, uh, Danny was finding more and more of just horrendous photos of uh, of her doing films, and the one that put her over the top was the one where she's sucking on a black guy's uh, ball bag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that put her over the top. Oh, the video of her appearance is now up on YouTube as well. Oh, look at that one. Yeah, there's shots of her all over the place it's with loads on her over. face. And just, I mean, what do you want from us? That's a giant uh, uh, African-American cock. Uh, she's sucking on the balls, right. and the dick, which isn't even completely hard, is over her nose, past her eyes, past her forehead, and actually past the top of her head. Yeah. Yep. That is a giant dick. Yeah. And uh, she got very upset with that. And I was actually like, oh, my God, okay, I guess I'll eat back or something like that. And then uh, Jimmy and Opie were, were actually being realistic about the whole thing, saying, fuck her, you know, she's not... I got really annoyed. Getting annoyed. And then when I saw her little video presentation she made later that evening, yeah. after crying here on the air, <laughs> yeah. she looked like fucking... Uh, her eye makeup was running down her face. She uh, she looked like Alice Cooper <laughs> right. when she left here. <laughs> Alice Pooper. What I don't understand is <laughs> then, like everybody does, that she went back to our hotel room or wherever, and then all of a sudden she finds her bravery. It's like, yeah. why don't you come in and like confront us? Because we didn't even really know what we were doing wrong to to start the tears in the first uh, place. No. Did we hammer it home? Of course we did. Oh, well, someone was hammering it home, and what? she didn't want to see video of it up yeah, on that yeah, screen. Yeah. Once yeah. she was being an asshole, we hammered it home. We were being very nice to her at first. We weren't fucking with her. We weren't trying to make her feel bad. Yeah. She was being a fucking baby. Right. Yes. Just a baby. Shut up, you little baby. And, who, and don't do it if you don't want to fucking do it. And there was someone someone else being a baby. This company we work for. Hello. They decided to, you know, cut up the fucking segment and make it uh, mediocre at best. Of course. All I could say about that to the people out there, I have no confidence in the in the suits because I don't really think they understand our show or radio, and maybe they'll learn eventually. So what I would suggest, and this is the only thing I'm going to say, Anthony, is that the the fans of this show out there. You better make damn sure you listen to the live show because this yes. is the radio show we we are doing that we want people to hear, right. or you tape the live show because there's no guarantee that you're going to hear well what uh, the show on the replay how yeah. we uh, mean, mean it to be heard the one that we did that day because <laughs> their logic is insane. Well, uh, there's there's some questionable stuff in there, so we got to get it off the replay. And my argument is always, it's it was already out there. And it's out there. It's I mean, already out there. there so it, just it, leave it alone. It's out in the cosmos. Right. It's there. So I have no confidence, and I have to say this, so it would be in your best interest to listen to the live show or tape the live show. Because uh -huh. then you're going to get the show we meant for you guys to hear. Simple as that. Right. End of argument, because arguing this stuff with these dummies is, you know, you're going to have a heart attack. Do they you really think, are. Do they actually think that there's going to be a brouhaha in the media because you made a whore cry? Dude. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> without getting into specifics, we were well within our means on Friday. Trust me on that. Trust me on that. The, they're talking about technicalities and this and that, blah, blah, blah. How does the market open 140 down? <laughs> <laughs> what, what happened? I don't know. just opened. And then everyone said, fuck that. Ah, panic. So anyway... Let's play her, her little video response to her appearance on our show. Because it, it's so cute in so many ways. Is yeah. it weird to see a video of her without a batch of seeds flying across her? <laughs> yes. uh, I know. Yes. Yeah, like fucking saving Private Ryan footage. That, <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's Sam? Uh, did Sam put the video up on YouTube, YouTube of her appearance, and how did the people find it? 
Because yeah, you see the could. tears in her eyes and stuff like that. They can go to uh, uh, youtube.com slash Iraq fan. Yes. And oh, that's okay. where the video is located. Right. And, and what, Iraq what fan. is the video? What, what does the video show? <laughs> the video is her saying that she's pissed off and then and then her breaking down and it ends with her leaving the studio and then leaving the building right. and everybody booing her. Oh, really? As she leaves. Uh, All right, then she goes back to her hotel, I guess, and she posted a video on Facebook, and this is uh, this is Shauna Lene, I guess. Listen to this. Hey, everyone, it's Shauna Lene. Hi. And today's <laughs> Sorry. Hi. Hi, everyone. I got my confidence back, and here I am to now trash those guys because I'm safe in my hotel room. Ugh. Hey everyone, it's Shauna Lene, and today is Valentine's Day. Um, I want to talk to you about a few things. Nothing. To- that is a nice ass, man. I'm uh, just looking at the computer. Grand eyes. Theft Auto. Oh, oh, my God. God. Lap dance. Guy's getting a lap dance. And it's fucking- oh wow, that is <laughs> that's, that's all right, great. man. Well, they figured that chick thing out on these. Yeah, they sure did. She, we, she moves like a real chick, finally. Oh, we hired strippers. <laughs> and, and <laughs> really? in, yeah, we put them in motion capture suits. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Nice. Did they put the ping pong balls in their mouth? <laughs> <laughs> they shoot them out their anus. <laughs> Wow, that is really good. And yeah. if you keep if you keep asking for more lap dances, more chicks show up. So yeah. then you got like two asses. Oh, it is wow. real. And she's, yeah. <laughs> and she's fucking not t- vultures. And she's not touching his dick. It's definitely real. Yeah. <laughs> it's GTA Four Lost and Damned. Correct. Right? That comes out today for Xbox. Right. And Lazo's hanging with us oh, today. She's doing the hair thing on his yeah. dick. With this is hysterical. It's, 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 oh, it's the exact. Like Taya Parker did that very move for us uh, a week or so an ago. Exact fucking reproduction yeah. of a. Lap dance, yeah, of a shitty fucking lap dance that you get. The sort of headstand where the crotch ends up right in your face. Tay did that move. Yep. We're gonna dance, and this is uh, this is what we do, Lazo. He finds interesting parts in the game, and then we'll stop whatever the fuck we're doing to talk about what's on the screen. You got our attention amazing. with the stripper. Can you shoot her? Yes. <laughs> Afterwards, you can't kill her. Cool. And take that money in her phone. Oh, here, here comes oh, another. Here comes check. another freaking. Hi. Oh no, the girl, oh, girl, 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 girl Yeah, this is yeah. fucking gonna cost that fucking oh, guy. You got chocolate sitte. I love how it's a black girl, right? And I love the fact they show the orange wig and the hair underneath it. Yeah, yeah look, you see her hair underneath. That's funny. Now, what uh, what happens if you leave without paying? <laughs> no money's deducted whenever yeah, you... Yeah, I would assume. Lazo, you're going to get in trouble. The black stripper has a much bigger booty than the white girl. Hey, well, all that's about authenticity. Stereotype. Yeah, yeah that is good. Stereotype. The other one's like a skinny white broad. Uh-huh. We're supposed to have audio on the board, booty. but why would we? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Do they say funny things? No, that's the TV. That's uh, Detroit falling apart. Uh, Other whores. (laughs) (laughs) We're listening to the Detroit guys talking. I haven't seen this one. She's spanking the guy and banging her knees. Spanking the white. uh, Wow. Do you know? I saw a stripper. She smacked her ass, and I'm like, my God, she's been behaving so badly. She had to spank herself. (laughs) Oh, oh, oh. (laughs) what a naughty girl! Wow, this is a (laughs) good little scene in GTA Four, Lost and Damned. Turn that oh. on. And there's stripper music as well. Yep. Hey, hey, you can't get up on me. I might have to fight back. <laughs> wow, she's rubbing her crotch in his face. Yeah. yeah. He's pulling his head back. It must smell. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't want his face getting eaten off. <laughs> if they weren't watching, I'd just as Oh, oh wow. If they weren't watching, yeah. The yeah, boss is watched, so you can't touch. When uh, when we That's were writing the dialogue for the great. strippers. Yeah. Oh. You got me really worked up there, sweetie. If you're ever looking for an MC affiliation, think about the lost. Yeah, uh, when we were writing. Only fit one of you ladies on the back with Shooter. Shooter. Uh, Please shoot. Oh, <laughs> damn. Oh, headshot. Oh, nice. And he's shooting her corpse. <laughs> she fucking stood ten feet Look at in the stripper on the pole who's ducking. <laughs> yeah, behind the pole. Oh, oh damn. This is great. What a cock blocker this guy is. <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. Got a million down. 
Who's the customers? <laughs> they all fled, yeah, man. Yeah, they, they're they're not left. stupid. Live nude. <laughs> Live nude women. Totally nude. <laughs> oh, shit. The heat. Oh. Find oh. some oh. cover. Shoot that what pedestrian. The what the fuck are you doing? Shoot the bystander. Oh. Shoot the hostage. <laughs> shoot the bystander. Drop the gun immediately or I will shoot. God damn the sounds of this fucking game. Amazing live bro. Right, bro. Fucking amazing. Oh. You shot the state troopers? That ain't good. I don't think you should be shooting the state troopers, sir. Get that innocent bystander. Yeah. If you don't shoot that Fuck bystander. Ah, yeah. Yeah, good. Good. What's coming next? Helicopters? Uh, yes. I hear the After helicopters. you get us yeah. number of stars, the helicopters. He's got four stars, stars on him now. Oh, helicopter. No. I don't think he's going to get out of this one alive, Laszlo. Now I just do a pipe bomb. Oh, oh, oh up the look at that cars. guy fly! <laughs> <laughs> That's the best when you throw a pipe bomb or a grenade under somebody. Yeah. They will ragdoll through the air like Superman. That Why? guy flew up like 100 feet in the air. How does he have time to get in the car? If I'm in this situation, I'm dead. Hot wire in it. No, I understand all that, but I would never get to the car. Can you run into another building or no? There are other open buildings. Oh, yeah. boy. And there's oh, all new interiors. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's shit, dropping he got out, out of it. He's dropping pipe bombs out the window. <laughs> yeah, and racing right, I don't think he's going to pull over his vehicle. I'm going to pull over. I don't think he's going to pull over. He's speeding, too. He's going to get a lot of tickets. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens here. They're writing some of the stripper dialogue if you go up and check. Oh! Collision with a Humvee. Oh, he, he flew, flew through the, the windshield. windshield. Uh, there's no he's way. Okay. This guy's tough. There's no way he's going to survive this. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh there he goes. Uh, officer seems to have gotten him that time. Hey, that was a good run, sir. Damn What's good. his name? This is Hugh. He's from our London Rockstar office. Fucking Hugh. You had a good run right there, my friend. Very nice. All right, let's get back to <laughs> Shauna Lene. So her Valentine's message. Remember when we were just talking a little while ago? This was her response to her appearance on our show Friday. Hey, everyone. It's Shauna Lene, and today is Valentine's Day. Um, I want to talk to you about a few things, nothing too serious. Um, I shot for a coffee book table today, which is really... What's a coffee book table? Does she mean a coffee table book? Of course she oh. does. <laughs> Of course she does. I shot for a coffee, a coffee book, book table. table. That's what Kramer put out. <laughs> it was the coffee, the coffee table book that opened up into a table. This, this <laughs> dummy. She could have redid the video. She doesn't even realize she said coffee. Uh, what an ass. Coffee t book table. Yeah. I want a coffee book table. Stick to cocks in your mouth, dummy. That's what you'll fucking. Uh, what I guess that's what you. I don't wait. What is a coffee table book? Is one that you you pick up off it's, the coffee table? Yeah, it's so silly. Like a lot coffee of pictures and stuff. Coffee book table. She wants a Coffee just, book table. They're just coffee very easy to get table. get through those coffee table books. Is that the, is that months. what she puts on her back? Like so when a guy's <laughs> fucking can put his coffee down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good luck to you on that coffee book table. Coffee book table. Few things, nothing too serious. Um, I shot for a coffee book table today. <laughs> <which is great. laughs> she shot for a coffee book table. <laughs> just showing how dumb you really are. Book about coffee that I use for a table. Yeah. And I like the fact that she's not talking in an annoying sing songy voice. Hey, she's yeah. so no. sing songy. No, it's sing songy because she's trying to sound like she's all okay. And and she, my favorite part is it's coming up where she goes, What else? I haven't heard this. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Like the whole reason why she's making the video, she's trying to make believe she's just kind of shooting the shit with her fans and like she wasn't making this video to respond to what happened on our show. Oh, yeah. There oh. is one more thing. It's the only thing that you want to talk about on this video. <laughs> Nothing too serious. Um, I shot for a coffee book table today, which is <laughs> really you? awesome, and it oh. really shows my personality. And <laughs> <laughs> you stupid whore. Right. A personality oh. that doesn't read. Yeah, yeah, because that's why we're looking at you, because you have a personality. Shut, Shut up. up. Personality you are where you what have you a are. giant fucking cock in your mouth. Right. That shows personality. Any girl that will suck a dick like that is A-OK -okay with me. That's true. That's someone I want to hang out with. Look, mm, I, understand you gotta, credit. I understand you got to try to justify what you do, but you know what? No one's buying into the fact you got a personality, and that's why people are looking at you. Shut up. Um, I shot for a coffee book table today, which is really awesome, <laughs> and it really shows my personality and really sexy pictures. Holy shit. Steven S. from Bayshore, 
She has a coffee table book coming out called Relatives Who Finger Me Before I Turn 12. <laughs> <laughs> it's chock full of great picks. Uh, Are you trading? Nothing. I'm looking at uh, holding steady about 20 cents a share. All right. For a coffee book table today, which is really awesome, and it really shows my personality and really sexy pictures, glamorous, not porno or anything. So oh, wow. it's nice to have regular photo shoots once in a while. Sure. Yeah, nice regular photo shoots. You're going to sell four copies. No, I want to see her coffee book table. Coffee book table. <laughs> yes. I have a table coffee book and here, table. The coffee table book book. Coffee. Here we go, guys. This is where she gives us the business. Oh no! Oh, oh, boy. oh no! Good. The Anthony and Opie show. You sure we can handle yeah. this? <laughs> to Opie and Anthony mm -hmm. on the radio. Yeah. I want to tell you guys thank you for making me so damn famous yesterday. I got tons of new fans, tons of new um, friends and stuff on Facebook and MySpace. And Why would you do this to yourself? I know. Uh, Did she say Facebook or Facebook? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do this to yourself? It's only going to entice these lunatics out there. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, friends and stuff on Facebook and MySpace. And everyone hates you guys. Ooh. So thank you. For oh, she told us. Oh, what did right? she say? Everyone hates us, Jimmy. Everyone, Everyone, because of her. Really, you should read. If you want to have some fun, read the comments on the YouTube video. Are they nice? Oh, it's hilarious. Maybe Danny can, you know, put a few of those up for everybody. Are people on her MySpace commenting on her on her new uh, coffee book table? Oh yeah, the, the coffee book that. table. Yes, <laughs> yeah. that wonderful coffee book table. I hate you guys. Everyone so thank you for being body. assholes to me and making me cry. Mm -hmm. And thank you because I'm like totally like number sixteen on free ones today. So I want to say Why? thank you. Thanks for being assholes. And also, You're you guys welcome. suck. You're pathetic. And scumbags, Opie and Anthony. Mm -hmm. Oh, what about wow. Me? That was good. What as about fucking Jimmy Norton? Right. Yeah. He was just as big a cock to you as we were. That's as, right. You know. Shauna Lene. She just said all this, but instead she was blubbering like she was 12. She really was a blubbering ass. Boy, she <laughs> sure was. <laughs> 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 I, don't, I just want to go home. I'm homesick. Well, you're homesick for fucking daddy. What? For your for your your fucking daddy at home? Is he proud? Watching you suck that big fucking cock. <laughs> <sighs> Do you send fucking pictures home of that? We all proud of your penthouse thing because it was it was that much. Su it was so much more subtle than that cum-drenched fucking face that you probably sent that home and said, look, Daddy, I'm legit now. Look up my asshole. Now I'm just spreading my ass cheeks, and you could look up my asshole instead of a big cock being in it. I'm so proud, Daddy. Is that how you feel, you fucking cunt? Wow, man. Uh, where is that coming from? Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, you would have to. <laughs> not stupid. But fuck her. And that's such a high school argument. Everybody hates you. Everybody hates you. Yeah. Well, she's a fucking child. Yeah. Which you know, that's where the attraction is from. <laughs> but <I'm... laughs> wow, we. Oh, the Dow's now down two hundred. Oh boy, it's coffee book Come table. Come on, motherfuckers. All right, here we go. Bye. I hope you get kicked off the air sometime soon. Oh, what is she might know something with all these rumors flying, Anthony? It would be funny if she started spitting out because nobody at Liberty Media likes you guys. Ah. <laughs> I have the inside skinny. I hope you guys get kicked off the air sometime soon because I don't think you guys deserve any airtime or any attention whatsoever. So then why are you giving us attention? I don't know. She wants all the attention uh. for herself. You're pathetic and scumbags coming from a chick that gets throat fucked on film. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. You will never be Howard Stern because Howard Stern is... See, that's how people uh, really get to us, by the way. If you want to get to us, seriously, because I know there's haters listening to this very uh, program right now. Yes. Just say you'll never be Howard Stern. That really gets under her skin and do really we have any? How about us. this? Do we have any audio of her porn? I'm sure her acting is very oh, good. Oh. Yeah. Why don't we hear some audio of her porn? Hey, that's a good idea, Jimmy. Yeah, I mean, let's, let's showcase. Hey, we shouldn't badmouth this girl. Maybe yeah. she's good at what she does. Let's, uh... Let's uh, play some audio over porn. And Someone... she'll never be any B-rate 
fucking movie actress you, because she's already had so much cum in her face, ass, pussy, and everywhere else that uh, no one would take her seriously. It's kind of it's kind of tough to take a meeting with Steven Spielberg when he could just yeah. Google what you've done so far. Yeah. <laughs> what she should have said was exactly, and I'll never be Jenna Jameson, and I'll never be Savannah Sampson, yeah. and I'll never be Belladonna. You'll you'll never be that recognizable in porn, and you'll have done a couple of uh, covers, and then nobody will give a shit about you in a couple of years. And then you'll catch AIDS and die. I feel sorry for the new porn stars, Jimmy, because they can't make the money like the uh, the greats. Right? They just can't. Mm -hmm. Everyone's getting their porn for free, so you know, girls like her, you know, you're not. You're not getting the, the real cash. And Laszlo, the porn industry has been very responsible with HIV. I gotta say it. Oh, yeah? Yes, I'm not just saying that because I'd like to fuck a couple of them <laughs> unprotected. <laughs> <laughs> they are, uh... <laughs> Jesus, they make you get tested before you fuck them. It's so annoying. I went out there without a test and I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the thing, and it has to be like a recent day. Like oh, yeah. Within, the within last 30 week. days. I was fucking miserable. When I got tested in 86... <laughs> it's a problem. <laughs> 86. Pay attention whatsoever. You will never be Howard Stern because mm -hmm. Howard Stern is actually a very nice guy. And he's very caring. Uh -huh. And you guys are not caring. You guys are the most pathetic scumbags I've ever met in my life. Mm -hmm. So once again, thank you for making me famous. famous. I love you haters. And everyone's on my side. So ha, Opie and Anthony, you can suck my clit. All right. Wow, sure that, can. That sounds like a horrible yeah, thing. Yeah, you can for a hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah, you've got a camera. You can get the Lakers out of the way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can suck my clit, although you may have to go through four or five assholes and uh, all sets <laughs> to get them. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to fucking suck on that clit? I would. Please. No way. Well, you would have to. Stop it. it. Would you let a cream pie you? Take a load in the fucking box and sit on your face? Get the fuck <laughs> out of here. Well, what do you mean, Spider? I don't wanna I, I don't wanna <laughs> suck on a clit that's had the cast of Amistad through it. <laughs> Thank you, audience. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You wouldn't do that, Ant? No. I would. She's been fucking she's been spoiled. What are you, a communist? Exactly. Communists? What are we? What, Communists? What are you? Uh, what are you? An atheist? To chuckle the murders. That's right. <laughs> if you if you hold all these if you hold all these black cocks in your pockets like so many uh, coffee book tables, <laughs> uh, salute. <laughs> you must allow some jizz on our beaks. <laughs> <laughs> After all, we are not legitimate film actresses. <laughs> <laughs> they all laugh. Uh, Matt in Greensboro. I love how she's so proud of her free uh, uh, the fame she's gotten. When all the pictures on the, the free ones website rank or whatever are of her with giant cocks in her mouth and ass. so Yeah. She's more famous now, so more people are, are looking at pictures of her taking it up the air. Yeah, what do you think? You're more <laughs> famous that like people are going to look at your penthouse uh, uh, spread and be like, wow, she really is a strong woman. Mm -hmm. This is a wonderful thing. No, they l hear your name. They pop it in Google. And find the most raunchy fucking getting sprayed with jizz on your face pictures that they could find. And there's plenty of them. Jesus Christ, when did you start? Ten? And what was your big crime? You reminded her through a picture up on the screen what yeah. she does for a living. Well, I guess that was enough. And we were just being... Holy shit. We just want to know about, you know... Some of those life in porn, that's all. Fucking Cox should have blown her head out like Kennedy's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised she was able to make it in here. <laughs> so there's uh, the latest on that. So she she definitely showed us. What can I tell you? I love yeah. the one with the fucking... I don't think we have a comeback for her now. The balls in her mouth and the big the big dick across her face. Yeah. It looks like she's like fucking like doing a balancing act like it's like a, like a T-square. She's balancing a T-square. You can almost hear with the balls in her mouth going, ta-da. No, Jimmy, it's an N-square. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the balloon hat the balloon animal guy makes. Yeah. And puts on his head just to attract the, the little kitty. Oh, the festive and jovial. With the big balloon that goes all the way across to the back. Yes. All right, let's take a break. And we'll continue with Laszlo as we check out more of Grand Theft Auto, Lost and Damned. Mm. It's a little uh, mission pack, but it's not a mission pack. I don't like saying mission pack, Laszlo. No, it's, 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 it's a first, whole new game, basically. It's the first episode for GTA 4. It's a whole new game. It's Would amazing. it be fair to even call this a companion game? Yes. Grand Theft Auto 4. Oh, because oh, it nice. weaves in and out of the original storyline. Right. Is it as detailed? 
Can you do as much as the original? Concept? Yes, and there's and there's yeah. additional stuff you can do as well. Nice. All right. Like, could, cool. could, could you walk into that, uh, any one of these places? There's some of them you can. There's some. Yeah. There's some interiors that you can walk into. Yeah, but he's too. And busy. some you're being chased, and you go to a doorway and go fuck. <laughs> Come on, open. Yeah, let, let me get in this joint. How can you tell which ones, Mister? Oh, you gotta be smart. Yeah, I wanna. I wanna see a nice motorcycle jump. Yeah. Any motorcycle jumps coming up? You know of any uh, motorcycle jumps in the area? <laughs> in the oh, area. he said sure. He's like, all right, here. Look at him. God, the hours. He's, he's good at. Thinking. He's good at riding his bike on this game no because sure. uh, I think he's played a few times. I usually I smash right into the walls or I lay it down. Well, that's why we changed the physics also, because Nico oh, here here had a little bit of trouble. Jump. Hold on, I want to see this. Oh, 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 oh shit. Oh, Is he going to nice. make it across? <laughs> no. no way. No fucking way, huh? Oh, yeah. Look how far it is. He's, he's just going into, into the, the river. river. Wow. That's a hell of an effort. Oh, that was a good one. He landed right in the middle, though. Very cool. At least he could swim out of the water in these. The earlier uh, GTAs oh, were drowned. in the water, and it's like, hey, I can uh, swim. Fuck yeah, you, man. Yeah, let me swim. I swim in real I, life. Why am I dead? Why are the there water steps detail? Right into the water? That's cool. Yeah, the reflections the are the great. Is Where's the motorcycle? It sunk. He's like Fonzie. Yeah. What will he do now? <laughs> well, now he's going to just... He's got to he's, go... He's got to punch these people. <laughs> can you, can you sh why are you not shooting them? There's, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> there's two whores standing there in coats, <laughs> and you're not shooting them. <laughs> what are you, a fucking goody two-shoes? There's two women standing there in coach. He doesn't kill them. What the fuck's with this kid, Henry? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can we just like seeing anyone get of shot? Of course. Yes. Right. Give me your car. Well, the cops are on you now. <laughs> He's stolen a minivan. Yeah, you stole a fucking what a hard soccer car. You don't hit this person. I'm going home. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. He ran her over, but good her like Ah, yes! Park on her fucking head. Can you fuck the body? <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. Oh. oh, Jimmy, I wish you could get out of the beginning mission on this game, because I think you'd have a lot of fun. I think you're right. Back into a fence for four hours. <laughs> you just jerked off eventually. You're frustrated. All right, we're going to take a quick break, continue with Laszlo. Yeah, we got some clips of some of the comedy. Oh, uh, yeah, let's do that after the break. That's That sounds really good. You got Eastside Dave and other people you used in this uh, yep. in this game. We'll How are you that. not shooting this person? person. Opie and Anthony. There you go. So checking out uh, GTA 4. Lost and Damned. And, uh, what's his name again there, Laszlo? Hugh. Huh? Hugh? Hugh. From the London office is playing the game for us. Yeah, and he's going to land the uh, chopper and uh, create some havoc. Yeah? Let's see how good he is now. <laughs> Where's he going to land the, cho uh, the chopper? Right on the highway? Right in the middle of the expressway. Yeah, to the chopper. Wow, well, you're not going to... Oh, wow, he cleared that. Under wow. bridges. Nice. All right, he gets out. Let's see what he can do. <laughs> Get a helicopter. No one noticed that he just landed a helicopter on the road? <laughs> no, you'll hear peds on the street. You know, people walking on the street, you hear him say stuff like, Oh my God, what the hell is that? Those pipe bombs rule. Yeah, they are quite nice. Uh-oh. Taste this. Taste this. That's what I would say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Trying to blow up the helicopter. Oh, I oh, blew yeah. up the helicopter. Oh, boy. Why would you do that? And yeah, they stay a little too close, so you get that ringing in your ears. That got a, uh, the, their attention. One star, but it went away. Okay. Now he's got three. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, you're right. Three. You can also blow up the gas stations, which is good fun. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> uh, I like blowing up the gas station. Is he going to be able to shoot that helicopter out of the sky? I always use the rocket launcher. Oh, I just heard Steve. Did you hear that? Oh, that, that was, was Steve? Steve? Yep. <laughs> There's all this shooting and someone keeps shouting, put that in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got four stars. What's that mean? 
Oh, boy, I wouldn't go in the cop car. What's that mean? That's not nice. The more stars you have, the higher wanted level, which okay. means there'll be, you know, more and more police will come after you than the SWAT team. Is that how you want to be four stars? No. It makes it very tough to get away, Jim. Why is he just going somewhere and read a book? <laughs> Can you make him go in somewhere and grab a book and read it? <laughs> Quietly? Yeah. Still in the cop a nice car. Nice coffee book table. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh... In the cop car. He got away. And did you see that the gentleman who has brought you so much joy in life has died in the last couple of days? Oh, who is this? Jack Cover, who invented the stun gun. Oh, wow. And his, uh, the best bit is where he got his scientific inspiration is he saw a person walk into an electric fence. <laughs> like, if only oh, we could replicate that goodness. in a handheld unit. That would be wonderful. You think you would wow. just sit and watch YouTube videos of people getting stun guns? It's me. <laughs> and jerk off. <laughs> yeah. That's me. We already asked uh, Laszlo about PS3. We're shit out of luck, us PS3ers. This is for Xbox. Well, you can buy Grand Theft Auto 4 Xbox. for the PS3, but you can't get this downloadable content. Yeah. Um, I'm going to download it illegally and figure something out. <laughs> I'm going to be a hero to the PS3ers out there. Do you still have four stars now, or are you clear? No, he's clear. He got away. How did he get away? Because he's fast. <clears throat> now, what got... happens if you want to just stop and walk in one of those apartments? You can't? No, um, he just ran over a Jewish gentleman. Jimmy's obsessed with going into the buildings. Why not? It's something so much fun. You can just do. I want to go there. I want to go there. Certain just... buildings, you can. Ah, uh, he's done. He's been arrested. Yes, yeah. busted. Why Good did job. you arrest him? Well, he was uh, raising he's, holy he's hell. He's being bad. Hey, I got an update on uh, Shauna Lene. Oh, really? She posted to uh, Adult DVD Talk. <clears throat> she writes, uh, even before he went on air, mm -hmm. this is, you know, going back to Friday's show. Excuse yeah. me for not knowing the names of people who work there. A guy was telling me and Taya what to do. They were treating us like puppets. We wouldn't even do what they wanted, which probably pissed them off to begin with. Yeah. Um, no. I feel yes. from the very beginning that they were misrepresenting us. They were making fun of how young I look, me doing interracial films. I will say they are racist. Well, okay. Got one thing, right? uh, but making fun half of, of the show's racist. A third. Mm -hmm. Making fun a third. of making, <laughs> making fun of how young they are. You look how young you look, you fucking asshole. We were saying that you, you look are great. young. She's only twenty one. She's a dummy because you know what? She's gonna be a fucking hag being in that business. Yeah. With that fucking just a fucked out piece of shit. And, and when, she's going to wish she looked like she did now. And when little baby girl, when little baby, when she was going, don't call me cute. I don't like being called cute. I go, well, no, it's like it's a good thing because it's like a girl next door thing. Like I was explaining why we yeah. think that that also we is very We were complimenting her with the cute thing. Like, were. wow, you're cute. But we don't, don't look like a skank that's, even that looks that. all beat up and shit. Here's the problem with her. Widow baby. I got to read this. This is amazing stuff coming up. Uh, they were making fun of how young I look, uh, me doing interracial films. I will say they're racist, making me feel like a whore. <laughs> well, you are. And we're not letting me be Shauna Lene. But, okay, I saw pictures of Shauna Lene, and that's Boy, who she I saw. had to take a cock in her mouth and ass. Yes. Yes. Uh, I also was being denied the chance to say what I needed to say as they were cutting out mine and Taya's mics. R holy shit. We did not turn off her mics once. No one touched your mic, stupid. No one touched your mic. We did not turn off anyone's mics. She probably had a shitty headset on and Dumbbell doesn't understand that you can just turn the volume up or, right. or, or fix the thing that's got a problem. I really wanted to set an awareness about a situation I had went through and they didn't even care. Instead of letting me tell people I do have a safety issue... They made fun of the situation I went through at a gas station in L.A. with a random guy trying to jump in my car, and then who knows what. Um, fuck you. Remember she said that... Yeah, she pepper sprayed him. All right. All right, we got and... into it a little bit. What, what, what else do you want to say about it? It sucks. It happens to women all the time. <clears throat> Not for you. Uh, there are two sides to the story, and you can't tell mine through the radio because we were not in, on air yet. Or she writes, not an air yet. A-N. Instead of Owen, I was excited to be on their show and have fun. I walked in the studio have skipping, fun. saying, "Yay, we have an audience!" But I thought we don't have an audience, and we suck, and no one listens to us. And how well, the live audience? And, we... and when you were skipping oh. and yelling, "Yay," we thought you were retarded. <laughs> <laughs> but the repeated bashing got on my nerves. Nobody uh, fucking saw, bashed this she psychopath. It. She saw it so different. Nobody was bashing her. 
God, is she annoying? She really is an asshole. I never listened to ONA, my public, oh, but she knows how to say ONA, which is like our little, uh, yeah. you know, nickname that the Uber fans use. Because who wants to say Opie? Let's be honest with each other. <laughs> It's a dumb name. I never listened to ONA. My publicist uh, did not tell me what type of show it was. Therefore, I was mentally prepared for... I wasn't mentally prepared for their bullshit. But meanwhile, oh. that's bullshit because she said that they were prepped. Well, that's Remember why that? someone highlighted that sentence and wrote lie. Because I guess she was but prepped on what the show's all about. I feel they were smacking me in the face with their insults. <laughs> As opposed uh, to a big black yeah. cock. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> we all jump for that line at the same time. <laughs> I did not expect them to act like womanizers. I thought they were going to be cool people. Do you understand we what were... you do for a living, you dumb cunt? Do you even fucking get it for a minute that you are an object that is fucked in every hole that you have and jism is, is just fucking splashed in your face, in your ass? Your pussy, your mouth, your fucking... That's what you do. You have to buy baby wipes from Sam Club. There's yeah. so much cum to clean off your body. What do you want to talk about? The stimulus package, you stupid fuck? <laughs> what are we just supposed to talk about? I really don't think we should bail out the automakers because uh, yes, big black it's cock in my ass. Bad. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I got to fucking suck these balls. <laughs> But nobody no. takes me seriously for my economic opinion. But nobody was insulting her. All right, no. That's what's enraging. We are now. fucking asshole. <laughs> nobody was insulting her or Taya. See, this is insulting you. All right, yeah. what's the, what is the Google bomb we could do? Now, you got to keep it clean or they're going to get rid of our Google bomb. Really? Yeah, I think so. I don't think you could just, like, say cunt or anything. No? On, no on I don't Google. like that. No, I think they uh, frown upon that, Anthony. How about um, Sean Olenay's smelly farts? They're trying to be a blue chip company. I don't think <laughs> she liked the word cunt. She didn't want to be called on their cute. server, right? Like that was like the main thing that really got her it upset. It certainly did. So why don't we just Google bomb Sean Olenay is cute? There you go. Is cute. <laughs> Ugh. Will that do the job though? No. I mean, cunt no. Is Sean Olenay's so molesting father yeah. thought she was cute. Well, we don't know if there was That's any of that. Dude, it's obvious. You put thing. one it's picture up, and she joke. had a fucking mental breakdown. <laughs> Freaked out. <laughs> right. All right. Let's move on. We'll try to figure out the Google Bomb. Awful. They turned out to be... They turned out to not be cool people. Yes, I shouldn't have cried so much, but what you guys don't know is that when I said fuck you and walked off, they wouldn't leave me alone. They were egging me on even before they brought the mic in to invade my privacy. So there you go, Steve. She knew the mic was on her. There you go. There you, you go. You have no privacy in here. It's fucking studio, dummy. She knew the whole time that she was still on mic, Steve. You, had... you fucked up a good segment. Now I'm annoyed. <laughs> to invade my privacy. They wouldn't get the camera out of my face. She knew, Steve, that the camera was in her face. The mic was on. What the fuck are you doing to our show? Well, now, now we know. We knew then, too. They wouldn't get the camera on my face and kept repeating that I do porn, I do porn. Yes, I do porn, but I'm not ashamed. However, they apparently do not like porn stars and think we are pieces of dirt. First of all, you are ashamed because nobody was knocking the porn pictures we were looking at. Yeah. We said they were sexy. All right. Oh, yeah. And why would you be bothered by that? We could go Russ Martin. Uh, uh, not uh, Russ Martin is an old uh, DJ that got fired. Uh, uh, what's his name? The fucking guy, uh, Mondo Topless. Oh, Russ yeah. Meyer. Russ, Russ Meyer. Meyer. We can go Russ Meyer. Someone has a good idea. Google bomb. <laughs> Loose. <laughs> Shauna Lene. <laughs> Loose. I don't know. There's got to be something better. All right, something that could be uh, really degrading. Right, everyone hang nasty. in there. Everyone hang in there. We're not. We're, we're developing this. Shauna Lene. I don't think girls like, baby. I don't think girls like to be called loose. My jizz. About, yeah, mass, like, yeah, I was thinking like Shauna Lene. massive facial. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, all right. Sean Lene jizz I, face. Yeah, we're getting there. You can't say has crabs. We don't know if she has crabs. <laughs> gaping, <laughs> gaping, <laughs> gaping. Sean Lene. Sean Lene ass cave. <laughs> Sean Lene cry baby. Uh. Well. Yeah. All right. Let's. Uh. Mm. It'll. It'll come. To I want us. it to be sexual and degrading. <laughs> okay. Sean Lene, fuck Jim Norton. <laughs> no, not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> this post makes it too easy. Wait, for, wait till you hear the next uh, sentence here. Uh, invade my privacy. They wouldn't get the camera out of my face. They kept repeating that I do porn. I do porn. Yes, I do porn, but I'm not ashamed. However, they apparently do not like porn stars and think, all right, we're a piece of dirt. Call me crazy. You're uh, crazy. As the next guy, but I want to go on the radio and talk about important things. 
or at least the things I'm there to promote, like my magazine or my film from Penthouse. I was holding your film from Penthouse up, this dummy. What a liar. I had the yeah. film from Penthouse, and I was talking to her about we it. Plugged it. We plugged her stupid fucking uh, little layout she did. Uh, and the Penthouse uh, video is called Bring Me the Head of Shauna Lene. They're lying when they say they show clips from this Why? movie. Bring me the head of Shauna Lene. I want to fuck it. <laughs> Apparently, in the African American community, that's a big thing. <laughs> They're lying when they say they showed clips from this movie. I don't think we said we showed clips from this movie. No. Uh, they never took the movie out of the packaging. Yeah. They also lied to my publicist about this. When I'm on radio for Penthouse, I will not promote pictures or videos from other companies. It's just a nice thing to do since Penthouse is the company paying me for the appearance. Penthouse doesn't give a shit what you talk. Shut up. Just talk about yourself talk about that big fucking dick you had laying over your face while the balls with pubic hair that looked like brillo was in your fucking mouth well i was so tired when oh <laughs> <laughs> no jimmy i was talking about her not your experiences oh, oh that fucking bitch fuck her now fuck her and her spent out pussy Enough of her. It's just annoying because she's just not, she's just a dummy. She's not telling it accurately. No. That's what's annoying. She's just not being accurate. Oh, stupid bitch. <laughs> Can we get her back on the show? Yeah, let's get her back in here. Steve, call her up. We'll smooth things over. Get her on the phone. Get her on you the phone. You tell her we want to smooth things over. Yeah, we, we think this has gone too far and we could be gentlemen and, uh, you know, do the right thing. I so want to make her cry again, man. <laughs> if, if I knew she was that big a cunt, mm -hmm. I think it would have been a lot easier to just fucking pound and make her really start crying in here. You really were being nice even when she started crying. I was trying to be crying. all nice. We're like, whoa, hey. What's up with that? Like, What's oh, up with the okay. tears? All right. Oh, look. Take the picture down. Oh, we won't talk about that. I was trying to be nice guy. Yeah. We're an asshole. It's I'm right. a fucking sap. We're stupid. You're all right, nice Leslie. You can't help it. Fuck that. Let's move on. We got GTA 4, The Lost and Damned. Yeah, so we did a whole bunch more uh, spoof radio <laughs> in the game, and we spoofed for the first time a uh, shock jock show. Okay. Oh. And Anthony and I were talking about the spoof of shock jock message boards that yes. uh, we put up on the Rockstar Lost and Damned website. And uh, because, you know, if we're doing a spoof of a shock jock show, you got to do a web website uh, message, board. message boards because you know how the listeners are. Yeah, they get crazy. Yeah. The, 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 funny, the funniest thing is, what was it? Some whack bag people were like, <laughs> hey, that's a great parody of a message board. Man, you hit it right on the head. And Laszlo's like, dude, it's your message board. It's pretty much a goof on you. <laughs> But we so we did this show called the Martin Sirius uh, show, and he's got a uh, stunt boy named Smithy, which we used East Side Dave, ah. who I was on Ron and Fez yesterday, yes. uh, telling them that Will Forte from Saturday Night Live, who plays Martin Sirius, um, was was a bit concerned about Dave in the studio, who was having meltdowns when he would fuck up his lines. <laughs> but uh, I did a you know little homage to you guys in um, in here, and this first clip is. Is a uh, homage to your uh, Wow stickers. Oh, Smithy, tell them how they can get their Todd stickers. Yes, Mister S. Their Todd stickers. Oh, that's great. Smithy, tell them how they can get their Todd stickers. Yes, Mister S. Todd stickers are for take out your twat Tuesdays and Thursdays. When you put the Todd sticker on your car and women see the Todd sticker while they're driving, they'll mush those nasty meat curtains against the window. Oh my. Goodness, unbelievable! <laughs> that's outrageous, but also liberated and true. Oh, you got a little, oh, that's little, great. little Robin in there. Well, there's uh, that's a oh. undeniable. That's a little little takeoff on Robin. That's and a, the hole a, and a, a well, black transsexual we have on there. Oh, yes. oh wow! Well, that that'll cover it. Mm. Uh, Holy but we, shit, we, that's we, funny. We also did some. Um, <laughs> that's very funny, Liza. <laughs> um, we also did some some new spoof commercials going to do number two on there. There's no easy way to break the news that a loved one is gone. Hello? Hey, uh, Miss Sarducci, it's Mike. Uh, your daughter sort of OD'd last night on heroin during a three-way, but, uh, I, I got you some flowers. 
Flowers help gloss over any of life's gut-wrenching agonies because just like life, flowers are gorgeous. Then they grow old fast and you throw them in the dumpster. Flowers are perfect for every occasion, from the arrival of a slightly slow child to a car accident or just to say, I was thinking about you and how we used to fuck. Flowers allow you to express yourself to the important people in your life. Get them something that will die in a few days. Send flowers. A message from your local florist and the Florist Alliance Group. Damn, is that some good writing right there? <laughs> nice. <used> to fuck. <laughs> oh, is that good? Very nice. All from Grand Theft Auto 4, The Lost and Damned. Yeah. Out on Xbox today. Actually, if, um, if you go to track five, it was a spoof that we were originally going to put in the first uh, Grand Theft Auto 4, but we saved it. And, you know, it's, it's, it's funny when you're sort of going through the regulatory process, the things that trigger people to be concerned aren't cursing or turning somebody's head into a red mist or throwing <laughs> a pipe bomb into a burger joint. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's it for some reason it's molestation jokes. Yeah, is, really. Is what, yeah. yeah, is what and so um no, that's true. This one threw a fl- few flags but we um put it in anyway. It was a a spoof for a cartoon we wanted to call My Drunk Uncle. Uh-huh, I could see what that might... Oh, Uncle Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, he's on his way. My drunk uncle's come to town. Sit on my lap. Let's take a nap. <laughs> Let me just pull these down. Ah! Go screw yourself. That's what you should do. You better not think of telling your mom. She'll probably just blame you. <laughs> My drunk uncle, my drunk uncle, I have to sleep on my tummy. My drunk uncle, my drunk uncle, his hands make me feel funny. My drunk uncle, my drunk uncle, he smells like whiskey. My drunk uncle, my drunk uncle, I'm headed to therapy. My drunk uncle, the new cartoon coming to CCC may not be suitable for minors. (laughs) What channel is that on? Oh, Uncle Paul. It's a fake commercial. Why? <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> That'd be marvelous. <laughs> drunk uncle. Damn, that's, that's catchy. A bit catchy. What else you got there, Liza? No, there's a. We love to spoof the credit card um, commercials because the credit card commercials are always like, you know, what do you use your credit card for? And it's just like, oh, you know, I'm taking my wife on a lovely vacation. They never talk about the real shit that you use your credit cards for, <laughs> right? <laughs> What do you use your Fleesa card for? I use the Fleesa card to have my mom put down. And I got frequent flyer miles. Thanks, Fleesa. <laughs> that is brilliant. <laughs> my mom put down. And I got frequent flyer miles. That's more brilliant. From putting down a relative to funerals to bail, <laughs> Fleesa is accepted around the world. Fleesa, it's time to start paying. So we had a series like four or five of those in the That's game. That's really good, man. <laughs> I like Fleesa, too. I like to fleece you. It's yep. great. And then finally, uh, babiesovernight.com. Yes. Has this ever happened to you? I hate this baby. Me, too. It doesn't have to be this way. At babiesovernight.com, you pick the kind of baby you want online and have it delivered the next day. No cord to cut, no morning sickness, no going for nine months without sex. Choose from all creeds and colors. Just listen to a few of our satisfied customers. It's great. If you don't like the one they send you, just throw it in the trash and they send a new one. No questions asked. I definitely we use them again babiesovernight.com your new bundle of joy in a box overnight guaranteed wow <laughs> good job Lazo. <laughs> thank you very good job so yeah there's new talk radio in the game there's two mm. new tv shows including republican space rangers yes so that one's good yeah i like that one how many hours of radio Republican space rangers or of I, TV, radio? It, of TV, there's over well over two, almost two and a half hours of wow. television that we produced. And we're already creating television for the next um, episode. It's amazing. It really is. It's Yeah, it's bizarre. I mean, like we're, we went from creating radio for Inside a Video Game to creating TV shows and full cartoons with animators, and it's nuts. Where do you, go? Where do you go from here, Laszlo? I, I think you just disappear in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I think it becomes like Tron. Where the hell do you go from here? Where is where is these video games going? What do you think? 
All right. Good talking to you. You're just going <laughs> to... I thought you were talking to... Uh, and I would just you know, know what anybody would be nice. You know, typically, well, so I, I don't feel like I'm talking to myself. What I noticed happened is like on the old consoles, like PlayStation, like the first generation PlayStation, you'd play like something like Resident Evil, and uh, you'd see the cutscenes, like those little cinematic vignettes in between mm. gameplay, and you'd be like, "Man, I can't wait for the game to look like that." Yeah, and then it looks like that, and then there's even <clears> better <throat> cutscenes. But now it's gotten to the point where playing Grand Theft Auto is like watching a, a cutscene. Like, there's no difference between the gameplay yeah. and the cutscene. So, like, now, where do you take this? I just don't understand you where you really go with this. You have to really kill people on a subway platform and film it. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on YouTube. Like, short of short of hooking up, you know, so, like, sensory equipment to your own body. Like, I don't know where else you go. I think the graphics just keep getting better and better. They're very photorealistic now. Um, I mean, but you look back at five, ten years ago, and you were looking like, Ridiculous. oh my god, it looks amazing. They cannot get better than this. And then it did a lot. Yeah, the graphics will still get better, even though what yeah. we're looking at right now is ridiculous. But yeah, you got to think they'll get even better than this. Still, well, they say in ten years, Probably contact does. lenses will have TVs in them. <laughs> they do. Really? I was reading that. Yeah, yeah, um, TVs in the contact lenses. It's not that far fetched. Well, I mean, there'll be a way, do? like the hologram, or to to. Uh, like the, the truck I'm driving now, a lot of them have this image in the middle of the windshield. Well, don't you like that heads-up display? Heads-up, it's called, right. So if they can do that, eventually they'll be putting TV like that into lenses or whatever. What's heads-up uh, display? I didn't get that on my new ride. It's a HUD. What the what, fuck does it do? Fighter pilot technology, my friend. Yeah. That's, uh, it, it puts, like, the speedometer um, on your windshield, So, it, it, but it, you don't look at your windshield. You can focus way out on the road like you do, and then you're looking right at your speed limit. It's hovering uh, there like a hologram. But yeah. I could also have my directions for my fucking Jeep, my uh, yeah, navigation directions. Yeah, you all kinds of stuff up there Why on the I get a heads up display. What the fuck? It's fucking amazing, Hard. dude. It's, it's just, you get your speed limit hovering there so you always know without looking down how fast you're going. Yeah. Motherfucker. See, that's what it looks like. Can I see? I'm now mad. I'll tell you. See, I that's, need that's like one of them. Something yeah, like mine that. is just orange. Exactly, yeah, just, yeah. That actually might be a, yeah. Mine, that's a bunch of fudge. <laughs> this guy's only going six. Exactly. It's going six miles an hour. About six miles an hour. That's the gear he's in. Let's <laughs> <laughs> uh, take a quick break, and uh, we'll get into something else. There's a few other things here. What was the one? Th oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think uh, a lot of you people are savvy enough to know what this is, but if you don't, we're going to tell you after the break. Listen to this. Goes on Bonds! Bonds! <laughs> Is that a lady they being a fucking <laughs> firing squad, you piece of shit? <laughs> <laughs> See that or it's a lady beating her pet chimp off an, <laughs> off an elderly friend. <laughs> That's my you. friend's clit you're biting. <laughs> we'll tell you next. All right. Hanging with Laszlo today. We're trying to figure out what this is. Turn down my music. With John Lennon and Clapton <laughs> and everyone else playing, uh, is just an insult. Rock and roll circus. Look at that, you know what this is? That that's the uh, the I Love Lucy, where she walked in and she saw Vivian Vance uh, shitting in Ricky's mouth. <laughs> 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 Try the wine. <laughs> oh, she continued. Oh, 
get it home. And Jesus. The translation, you yeah. know, sometimes those things are very long, but the translation is sure. very short. He said, I can smell your cunt. Yeah, she was very well, upset yeah, by that. Very upset, yeah. Very upset. Yeah. What was it? <laughs> That's actually something Jimmy would probably relate to. Oh, really? Yeah. Golden shower? Ah, <laughs> uh, right, almost. <laughs> um, somebody shitting on an Asian woman. Oh, no, that, that's uh, acceptable. Mm -hmm. You ever see Tub Girl? It's wonderful. <laughs> Hilarious. Tub Girl. That is a lady freaking out at a Hong Kong airport. She missed her flight from Hong Kong to San Francisco, and she lost her fucking mind. <laughs> and then winds up getting a flight a couple hours later anyway. Yeah, so. She was like, they thought it was the last plane out. Yeah. The fuck is that? She's hanging on the top of the building in Saigon when the last chopper's leaving? Lady, there's another plane. Calm mm. the fuck down. And what's going on in San Francisco that's so important that she's screaming like that? Except a lot of ass sex, from what I hear. <laughs> yes. Maybe she wanted to save Harvey Milk. She didn't realize that it already happened. I'm here to recruit you. I'm Harvey Milk, and I'm here to recruit you. <laughs> Are you, this Harv? Harvey loved dick. <laughs> oh, he couldn't get enough. He relished cock. What was the line you used last week? Playfully spanking. Playfully me. spanking each other's bottoms. He just finds some fucking drunk, drugged out Hispanic gentleman outside of the doorway of the his camera shop. His Jack Jizz fucking supply house. The yeah. camera stop <laughs> shop. He and they, he goes in, and uh, the next thing you know, he's he's helping him inside, and that was it. Mm -hmm. The next scene is them <laughs> nude, completely nude on a mattress on the floor, just playfully, giddily spanking each other's bottoms. And one's trying to crawl away, and I think Penn holds him. And, yeah. And, and, and fucking froggy cops on him, and deep dicks his yeah, fucking oh, drunken course. bottom. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> I got to tell you something. I, I was laughing uncontrollably at what you were saying. I looked up at the TV, and they're showing the... Uh, the the car chase, I think it was. Where was this one? The wild police chase. Yeah, the video is everywhere oh, today. Oh, just oh, pummeling them. The shit oh, out yeah. Of them. But, oh, they got to get them cuffs but, on. But oh, Laszlo, I, I looked up and I thought I was still seeing <laughs> watching GTA, GTA Four. Lost <laughs> in death. <laughs> I'm not even yeah. trying to make a joke. I went, wow, that's realistic. Ah, that's funny. It did look like. I GTA swear to God, four. I'm like, I, my brain got really confused for a moment there. What? Did, why is Palin still in the fucking news? I don't know. Oh, who she cares? Did you hear the other day? She's like, she's thinking for going. Uh, she's gonna do a run at the White House. Like, oh, she should. She was very well like received. She handled she herself should, professionally. She, she should run at it head shot. first. <laughs> is what she should do. Yeah. She don't have a chance in hell. No. Lazlo, you want to take some questions? Sure. I want them answered immediately. Let's go to Dennis in uh, Maryland. Hey. Hello. Hi, hi, Jenny. Hello. Hey, man. You guys uh, love the show. Jimmy, happy birthday. Uh, yeah. uh, thank you. Um, Laszlo, I got a quick question for you. Um, sure. I, I love the games. I've been a, a video game fanatic for since I was a kid. Good for you. Ari, Pong, whatever. I'm 33. You got it. I'd love to get into <laughs> voice work. Sure. Um, however, you know, I've... Babe Ruth I, has a better shot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I, I've checked the internet and everything else, but I, I would rather get some information from somebody who's actually in the business. You know, I don't want to take some stupid college course and then, you know, yeah, never be stupid. able to... You gotta just... I, I hate to tell you, Dennis, you, just, you gotta just luck out. It sounds like you have a nice uh, voice... But you just got to luck out. There's no easy way to do it, right? There's certain trade magazines, I think, that there? put things out that you could go to. But, I, I don't, you know, you can make you a demo tape and somebody. send it around to, like, uh, the agencies. But it's so then, hard. Even if you've got a lot of voice work, it's hard to get the big guys like Atlas Talent and mm -hmm. William Morris or whomever to sign you. Look, these days, we hire a lot of people off of voice123.com. Yeah, and it's just people who have their own home studio or whatever. They put together a short demo. Wait, there's a good uh, tip for this guy. Voice one two three dot com. Yeah, it's the numbers one two three, and you can you can go in there. It's great because somebody like us at Rockstar, if we want like deep African American male voice, yeah, you type that in. And um, a bunch of demos will pop up, and you go listen through some of them, and then you just click a button. And how would you type that in? <laughs> Slow. Shorter. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a lot. sounds a bit wordy. Yes. For Jesus. what you're looking for. Yeah. Typical bell oh, to hit over there. 
<laughs> of course I do. Offer free work for you if you ever need it. <laughs> oh, yeah, thanks very much. Paid just the just the experience alone would be great. Well, go to Voice One Two Three. That that's a start oh, for you. That I is. Will. I mean, you guys. Thank you very much. Uh, you guys have been a great. And also, so far. shoot yeah. me an email as well. Yeah, try I to become did. friends with Laszlo. That's how you get in these games. Yeah. Laszlo uses all his friends. <laughs> that's I think true. the best thing you can do, Dennis, honestly, is walk around and always do your your uh, Tom from Carvel impression. <laughs> When you do a Tom Carvel impression, people love it. Just click on Tom the Tiki. <laughs> and you do that to all the voiceover people when you walk in. Yeah, fun day is Wednesday, Tom the Tiki. <laughs> we got Ted, <laughs> Ted the Tiki. <laughs> Just do Tom Carvel. They'll hire you in a second. That's brilliant advice. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Dennis. Thank you. All right, thanks, guys. I don't know why you kind of look like an ass, I think. But no, you wouldn't. You walk right into the audition, or you just do famous people. You walk in and you go like to the agent. And you go, "Hey, I could sell anything you want, Jack Nicholson here." Because you have to say the name. Sure, yeah. I love when people have to say the name because the impression's so bad. <laughs> you do the really good Pacino. Oh, you're out of order if you buy other things. <laughs> Says Al Pacino. <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, or, uh, uh God damn. Yeah, you fucking do a little Dustin Hoffman. Sure. You walk right in there. You go, I, I can sell anything you need. Yeah, definitely buy this product. Rain Man uses this product. You should use this product. And then you smash your stupid face into the desk, Dennis. <laughs> Leave us alone, you childlike aspirations. <laughs> what, do you want to be an astronaut, you <laughs> yeah, fucking exactly. little Exactly, asshole. Why do you talk to the inside of the coffin lid? <laughs> do your Jesus. fucking voices guy's, to that. Guys, just looking for a break, man. I'm Ken the Cadaver. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ed, what do you want to be next week? A fighter pilot? Exactly. Dummy. Sing Tura Laura Laura on a satin pillow. <laughs> Let everybody hear your fucking golden pipes. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hope you burn your throat with acid. <laughs> People tell me I have a good voice. No, they mm -hmm. don't. Have they? Oh, they just... Hey, uh, Laszlo. Being polite. Yeah. Uh, Josh S. and Philly and, and many oh. others are asking about the full frontal male nudity in Grand Theft... <laughs> Auto four. Yeah, can you fire Lost up that? and damned. Can you fire up that cutscene? Why Kidding did you guys goodness. insist? Why did you guys insist on uh, full frontal? Because it's hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, because there's the hysterical. answer. It's, and it catches you so by surprise. You think you're quite safe, and all of a sudden, there on the screen is a man's. Well, we like to play gay or funny penis. in this show, so obviously funny. It's just funny. Let's go to as he finds that. Let's go to uh, tugboat. Tugboat. Hey, guys, how are you? Good, hey, man. TV. Uh, Laszlo, I got a question for you. And sure. where do you think the next huge jump will be in video games? <laughs> Let me just that. <laughs> yes. As, as far as graphics, uh, any chance... There is there anything they're working on? Further? Can I guess, ask a question for Laszlo? Is it going to be... I heard the next big thing is like when you're driving from point of view... If you spray <laughs> to clean the windshield, you're actually going to feel a little spritz of fluid on you, like windshield wiper fluid. Is that the next big thing? I remember I was at a convention and a guy, big a guy swore to me the next big thing was going to be a box that hooked to your Xbox that emitted smells based on what you were... Oh, oh God. So stupid. The Jimmy, the Jimmy fucking smell would be great. All just farting. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? That's the, the, the that was the whole big thing. It was a little hose by your Xbox. You have to constantly fill with wiper fluid. <laughs> it just squirts you. It gives you a little spritz like you're driving. It's and so it, immersive. Or it comes with a fan that you set up like it's like you're driving real quick, <laughs> and the smell of leaves it comes with thirty bags of leaves. <laughs> the, the fucking fan blows leaves in like you just rode through a park. <laughs> That would suck. What an awful... Because you know how big 30 bags of leaves would be? Huge. Yeah. It would be a big box. Terrible. <laughs> leaves yeah. not included. You PSP? Really this one. It's on the table. Hey, PSP? Everyone's given up on the PSP, I right? Love it. it really upsets me because the... the PS I love the PSP, <laughs> but I saw it in uh, Circuit City before they went under for, like, nothing. They're just giving those things away now. And for the holidays, nobody was developing... For it. There's a game that just came out within the last week or two, Loco Roco 2, that's a lot of fun that I just picked up, and uh, I think there's like a Resistance game coming out for it. I'd really like us to do a, another PSP game, because the two that we did are the top what? sellers. What's going on with uh, PSP? Why is that going away? Because of the phones, or what? I, I think so, maybe Sony's been focusing more on the, the PS3. Got big cock. I was just looking at that. What does he have in there? What? That guy from The Lost yeah. uh, there. Wow. Big cock. 
Yeah. I think he's carrying a fucking uh, a, a pterodactyl head in his fucking underpants. Also, we've been developing a game for the Nintendo DS. There's a Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars, oh. and it looks like the original Grand Theft Auto 1 and 2 that's got sort of the top-down oh, yeah. look. So... Hmm. And this, the I want to know what's going on with the PSP. That's all. I, I want to know why that's going away. Can Xbox play Blu-ray? No. That's why I got PSP. That's why you got PS3. That's what I mean. Because um, the oh, PSP's going away. Yeah, the handheld. PS3's is this the naked guy. So yeah, so this is a uh -oh. a congressman <laughs> oh, no. who's uh, getting a back rub, and yeah. your character Johnny, the biker, comes in to talk to him. Can you rub his back? <laughs> no, <you're> just, <laughs> I want to help. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you want to help him? Yeah, can you finger his rear. Oh. Is there a... Uh, the Asian guy's chopping him? Or is that a woman? That's, That's a, a woman. woman. Oh, a little uh, Yankee cranky? No, this is like an exclusive gentleman's club in the game where you can go uh -oh. get massages. Oh, there uh, we go. All right, he's you can, getting up. You can uh, pop up a little of the audio there. Oh. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> Tom stops. How do you do? <laughs> well, just, uh, his hands on his now steps. that you've mentioned it, Starting to feel a little queasy. Don't be pathetic. And no secrets here, pal. Dick. Now listen, I'm in a bit of a bother sport. So you, well, you think I you're think okay because you know you just you're seeing him from the from the, the from the waist Stop. up, yeah, and he's walking around. Grossman naked. tells me you're reliable. Grossman, <laughs> that guy's an asshole. Look. I'm guy not keeps looking his <laughs> <He's> <laughs> looking at, the other guy keeps looking down at his car. Johnny, <laughs> I'm a cynic. I'm very needy. I need people uh -oh, to like see a little me. more. A little few I pubes. The pubes. Like so that they elect me. I need people to elect me so that I feel marginally less bad about myself when I stare into the mirror. <laughs> very close there. Almost on the top of the mirror. Very close. I try to do a good deed here and there. <laughs> he keeps looking at his thing. Democracy is a beautiful thing. Personally, I prefer a benign dictatorship without the pretense of choice. But... Let's leave the political discussion, shall we? <laughs> yes, let's. Unfortunately, <laughs> just cock again. I never noticed that. Has yeah. ensured that my chance of being reelected is pretty much zero. Skirting the what? issue Black of Black actually showing Not exactly. his dick. I need his money, and he hasn't died. What? <clears throat> you want me to kill your father? No, that's disgusting. How could you suggest such a thing? My father died years ago. Thank God. No, my uncle. That sanctimonious do-gooder controls the family trust. Oh, Uncle Whoa. Paul. Yeah, <laughs> give me that trust, you. <laughs> I'll ruin it. So is being arrested for drug running and spending the next 30 years in prison. That's oh. a good actor. You and your little <laughs> gang, what? I mean. Yeah, who did this? Very good. I see. It's Senator. You make a wonderful politician. I know. Now, you've got to get the old goat today. We're just all Make waiting to see his <laughs> fucking a bunch of guys that computerized cock. I know. It's like real life. He's just babbling, <laughs> and just babbling on. And... Uh, Levis will give you a package on the way out. So you uh, think yeah. you're safe? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and Clebitz! Oh, <laughs> I, I am what I am. <laughs> But I look out for those who help me. <laughs> what an <laughs> awful computer penis. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and I love how the, how they had him the right before the end. He actually thrust his penis towards the camera. Yeah. It's very funny. It's the first um, first male penis uh, in the frontal in a, uh, in yes. a video game. Yeah. You should be able to shoot his dick off. <laughs> That would be nice. There was no full frontal in Galaga? I could swear I that, saw that. Um, <laughs> that. That took us some doing, by the way, to get that through. That really? Took, that took us I some, can imagine. Took us some doing. Would you have to say, look, it's flaccid, it's not sexual in any way, he's just naked. Could the other guy have kicked it if you wanted him to? <laughs> <laughs> just kick him in the ball. That's where video games are going. Right for the genitals. So right. Kick him in the nuts. Well, in the shoot game, when, if, you, if you shoot if you shoot people in the leg, they'll, they'll yell, you know, oh, you shot my leg. And yeah. Oh. I got an email from one of your listeners that said they shot a guy in the leg, and it said, you broke my knee, dude. <laughs> I said, was that intentional? I go, of course it was intentional. <laughs> yeah, who says that? <laughs> that isn't <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Previously found Bob Kelly. Man, I know.
dummy. Ruined everything for right. us. Thanks. Laszlo, good job, man. So let's uh, do the big plug so we can get the hell out of here. No, sure. Grand Theft Auto 4, The Lost and Damned, you can download it. If you have Grand Theft Auto 4 on your Xbox and you have Xbox Live, you can download this. I think it's 20 bucks, um, and it's got a, a ton of missions, uh, new TV and radio and comedy scenes. and uh, looks fucking great. It's yeah. amazing. Male frontal... Nudity. Nudity. Yes. That's very funny. The strippers, very let's important. not forget, look very, uh, very good. Yes. They move like real strippers in this game. Yeah. And they're about as uh, mentally stimulating as that coffee book table, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and Laz, there's also all new, there's like new, we new weapons, new bikes, new vehicles. Correct. And new physics for the bikes. The bikes are easier to ride because you're a biker. It's amazing. I love jumping on these bikes. If you want to check out... Uh, some of the clips, uh, including the one with Eastside Dave as Smithy, the stunt boy, and also yes. a clip of uh, the Republican Space Rangers cartoon that we did for the game, uh, go to rockstargames.com and click on the Lost and Damned. There's even a caricature of of Eastside Dave on, on that page. That's fucking JFK, no? Uh, yes, you Holy are. Holy shit. He's uh, at uh, the airport. JFK oh, airport. Oh, yeah, yeah. Looks exactly like it. What the fuck? Yeah, they really That's did a great amazing. job of uh, amazing. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get the yeah. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get out. We gotta go. All right, guys, thanks for listening. Have Thank you got you. anything else? Everyone okay? Good, good, good. Everyone. Yeah.